Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Welcome to episode 45 of the Musing with Chaka show. This is the conversational podcast where, in this case, three friends gather around these microphones, each with their own random topics of discussion to hash out for your amusement. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and subscribe for more content. I am your host, Louis Menchaca, and joining me today, to my left, screen right, we have the ageless immortal, Tony. Yo. And to my right, screen left, we have the newest newest entry into our pantheon of cast members making his debut we call, i have i have dubbed him the master debater misha that doesn't sound right i know <laughs> <laughs> no i like that i thought of that by the way in case you didn't know this everybody has a name like you know the soldier of fortune juan the mark yeah, yeah everyone's yeah. got no v something. I, I know that but that one didn't sound right i know i like that though <laughs> I, I did that on purpose by the way all right I, yeah, everyone's got something. I always name somebody like the something. Um, unless you want to change no, it. No, no, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound right, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll just roll with it. Just roll with it? <laughs> All right. So let's see. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chakalaka88. PSN, Steam, XPL, Twitch, all Chakalaka88 all across the board. Easy to remember. If you have anything you guys want to talk about in the comments, uh, let me know. I'll uh, I'll reply. Uh, suggestions for topics, reactions to anything that's said, as well as you can go to the link in the description and go to Google Play and iTunes if you want to listen to the show in audio form in a very good high-quality MP3. So now with all that out of the way, let's start time to talk about the topics. So we got a pretty interesting show for you, a very good mix. We're not going to do too much serious stuff, but we are going to cover the serious stuff here up front. Um, we had this last episode 45, uh, 44 was quite the uh, show that lost me subscribers. Thank you, uh, thank you, all five of you. Uh, <laughs> it was quite the interesting thing that we were talking about these political ideologies, and you know, Tony over here being very divisive, divisive. I don't know how they just pronounce it with the audience. That Tony, you're just like batting people left and right, holding people. Punching people like every which way because they're coming at you from all directions on Facebook. You're replying to everyone's post to be like, nah, nah, fam. Uh, like, you know, it doesn't like, uh, I wanna, it kind of felt like to me with last week's topic or last week's, yeah, big government topic. If I, it kind of felt like to me that every time somebody tried to counterpoint you, you I rejected their, you know, you countered their counter, but like it's almost, it almost kind of started in a, in a situation where it felt like you're rejecting their, their hypothesis. Like, Okay, for instance, Facebook, you comment, uh, uh, somebody comments, uh, the private sector sucks at sharing information. And then you, and then like, you come back and you say, no, the private sector is great at sharing information. No, I will, I would probably say, I don't know if they're great. I probably even said, I don't know if they're great. I think that was literally okay. how I started. Well, this like, you got, like, you got open source, you got Google, and I'm telling Microsoft, yeah, like, like, you I, got all I, these... know, I specifically do follow like some tech stuff. And I know for a fact, like, I remember semi recently, Google found a vulnerability in someone's like operating system or something. And then they were, they apparently held back for a while so they could fix it. But then when they felt like they were taking too long, Google just came out and put them on blast. Like that's the private sector checking the private sector. Like well, no. it found a vulnerability, it let the other person know so they could fix it, and then when they were taking too long, it put them on blast in the public so everybody can shame them. Okay. But their first instinct was to hide it and try to solve it themselves. What the Google? Which one? The one that I'm talking about specifically, it wasn't because they all every time the, between the big ones at least they will if they're finding a vulnerability in the operating system they'll tell the person first so they can fix it because if you tell everyone if you announce it right off the back then it's open to anybody can exploit it before like let's say if it was Microsoft yeah. in this example before they have a chance to fix whatever the you know the vulnerability the is. vulnerability is even Microsoft had vulnerability yeah and that's issues. how they all do it they'll well, let the well, person know first and then give them some time to fix it but I guess. It's not like a strict standard of what's okay, a reasonable Okay, first time. off, with tech companies, they don't do it like, I don't believe they do, well, we're going to release this information because we want to be the good guys. No, they don't, it's a mutual, <laughs> um, it's, it's not just a mutual respect or whatever. No, not respect, a mutual, um, mutual defense. It's okay. like, I help you, you help me. Like, we're all kind of, I, I don't no think one's that's gonna... their first priority. Their first priority is how much money they're going to lose. 
Yeah, but see, that's part of it. See, it, that's that's a lot different. No, but see, it feeds into it because, like, they okay, having massive vulnerabilities in your operating system yeah. is going to make you lose money. Of course. So yes, one of course. system that's evolved in the market is but let's can... come together to not hack each other's stuff. And whenever we find vulnerabilities in each other's systems or in our own systems, obviously we're going to try to fix it first so that the public we you can't tell the public first because then it's going to let all the bad actors know that there's this vulnerability. So you have to try to fix it first. But if you take forever like what google did they'll come out and kind of put you on blast or that's how i'm putting it obviously they were probably a little more respectful than that but basically they came out and put them on blast like hey you need to deal with this vulnerability like now all right let misha speak i wouldn't actually probably use google as an i would use iphone as an example hmm. like the battery thing yeah i think that's a perfect <laughs> example all right what do you mean like talking about whenever like the iphone batteries well, were decaying and they, they were... purposely designed the software to where oh yeah the bottlenecks are it, it de de uh, decreases its performance. It, yeah, and didn't decreases. tell the customers exactly. Well, and they scaled with it, right? The battery it would scale like they started capping it off as the. Well, they scaled down the performance of the battery. But oh, it the, was oh, the, done. They were. They were natural course of the battery. It was done, on purposely. The, okay, so, so that what they people did. People have reasons to upgrade or to use their repair services. Well, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's the case against. I've heard that what they said publicly was we were doing this because, like, if you they didn't do this, like batteries would just shut randomly up. shut down and stuff. So well, it was of a course, yeah. I mean, and it makes <laughs> sense for that's Apple. Anything. That's like any battery you go buy, eventually it's gonna die. Yeah, but Apple's whole motto is, or their but their business philosophy, their business, their they mm. have to sell products. Yeah. So the reason they was killing now their batteries, mm. so they're devices die faster well no, devices I know, die okay, faster okay, you no, have that, reason to go upgrade i my understanding of the situation with the batteries is the batteries decay that's less normal yeah there's a, there's a shelf life with them so what they do is they scale the processor down so what happens is if the processor is running at full blast and the battery cannot keep up with it like at 30 percent, your phone will shut down so what they're doing is they're trying to extend the life of your phone keep it alive longer no by matching it. By matching it. But yeah. that's why usually people around, you know how like the whole uh, conspiracy theory I don't theory think it goes. really extends the life of your phone. No, well, because it, if, you're, if, you're, if your processor with, is not uh, taxing your the battery as hard, because I, I don't like I don't know I've if it's done extending. I've done cell phone repairs mm -hmm. where batteries just straight up die. Okay. And they like, and there's that span of what, the last six months or whatever before people's like, okay, I gotta get this replaced yeah, right okay i think and you can literally charge your phone to a hundred percent and then within two or three hours it's, it's completely dead. dead right yeah that's my 5s and 6s right now and it came off as people were starting to realize that it wasn't a natural thing it was actually being done on purpose hmm. so you have a reason to go get a new battery if you don't want to go buy a new phone. Right. You so, have a reason to go upgrade your phone. Because, yeah. Because. It's planned obsolescence. Their business model is that you need to buy their products in order for them to stay in business. Hmm. If your phone lasts for 10 years, <laughs> are you really going <laughs> to. Yeah, Tony. Have a reason Let to go buy you, a phone. Well, first of all, what I was like, trying to like, say is you know, Apple's whole philosophy is the experience. So I actually, you actually put it pretty well because I wasn't, I was trying to put the idea together, but how they scale the thing, that's actually probably a pretty good summation of what they said they were doing. And Apple's always about the experience. So in their mind, which is pretty consistent throughout their history of making computers, they want the user to have the best experience possible. I think they might even say that verbatim. Yeah. If so if that's the case, if that's the underlying philosophy, it makes sense that you but would have a better experience with your phone being slower than randomly shutting down all the time. Or at least in their mind, that because it's, Which I, it's happened to me before, yeah. by the way. But, three, I mean, the three so, GS and four S were big examples of that. Yeah, for me. and it's something that they've done. Yeah. They said they put in not too long ago, not right, like, yeah, not it, right it, at the beginning. I believe it didn't start till around the six iPhone no. six, five like four S or five. Mm. Oh. So it has, they haven't been doing it forever. No. Okay. But the three, three GS, whenever it died, Those it was shut down. all natural. Shut down like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was that was the natural course. Of so the this one could have been a solution to that problem, and we didn't notice that the problem was fixed because I well, guess people it noticed it. Friends. They always they called out Apple like when the four four S's were dying and the fives were dying a lot faster than normally. What what people will consider normally, 
when you say dying you mean like they wouldn't hold as long of a charge or yeah like, or okay. they'll, they'll lose their charge or it'll uh, be slower too right yeah both people notice the performance issues and the battery performance like years and years before it was like that conspiracy theory for a while that's what everybody considered it's con- but it's, when apple actually came out and straight up said it just what recently yeah like in like january since, or something like yeah. that everyone's like holy crap it well, was, it was I, true i would say <laughs> as far as the like, conspiracies <laughs> were true yeah, yeah basically, it wasn't yeah. a conspiracy no more it was yeah. an actual uh, legit thing yeah yeah well, I was going to say for the Apple thing, I think if you you can look at it both ways, and I feel like the truth is probably has elements of both, but it's something to the effect of, like, I think Apple, people go to Apple because they want Apple to tell them how their phone should be. Like, the reason why like I like Android is because you get a lot more options. Yeah. To be fair, Apple and Android are converging a lot, so they're very similar these days, but at least in the beginning... Android, and to a degree still now, it was more about options. You had more flexibility with the Android operating system. It was too many options in a lot of cases. Like and- Apple's whole Apple, thing was simplicity. Apple was, yeah, simplicity. Android was, how can we not be open Apple, yeah, open source, but be yeah. better than Apple? <laughs> so we still got to do the things that Apple does, but we got to be better. So we have to give them more options, more custom, more widgets, more, customer more, customer more, customization, customization, more yeah. freedom, but at the same time, we want to be away from Apple, but still kind of, we want the same audience. Well, I don't know if they actually wanted to be away. I think, well. No, they want, they want, they want. I think Andy Rubin had a different philosophy of what made a good operating system. Like in his mind, what better was. For was a long time, Android played catch up. Well, not just so much yeah. Android. You Every know, operating Mor- system. Motorola, yeah. you know, LG. Blackberry. Samsung, yeah. Blackberry. Yeah. Yeah. They, they tried. They played catch up with iPhone for a long ass time. Mm. Which makes sense because iPhone pretty much changed the game. So you kind of had to, you know, play catch up for a while. Yeah. You could even say they had but, a monopoly on smartphones. <laughs> yeah. You could say that. Yeah. Like, let me, let me ask you this, Tony. I want to get at the, heart of the, at the heart of the matter uh, beyond this example because. Uh, well, wanna, we, uh, I would say just for the thing, like, I think it is true that there is an element of that at Apple, like what you were saying. In every business, you want to get as much money as possible for the least amount of effort. But I do think you can is. tangibly make a case, especially if they are, I don't want to, I'm going to say ethically, an ethical company, but not in the traditional sense. Like, their ethic has always been uh, customer first, elegance, simplicity. You know, all this stuff. So I can see from their mindset, and Apple has a history of doing things that in their mind is what the customer should want, and then sometimes the customer will push back. Like the well, original everybody iPhone. does that. Not everybody. Some, no, most customers. Pretty much everybody. Most companies, they Microsoft. listen to the customer. Microsoft, the same way. It's how things should be later on. So, you know, uh, computers, the same way. Like Apple, No, well, because usually started, that's how Apple usually uh, nobody, advertises no against what, everybody like, else. With computers, when Apple, you know, pushed their personal computer out, hmm. nobody thought that you're going to need a computer at home. Hmm. And that it was going to be just a work thing, you know. Yeah. Wait, the whole off thing in the office, thing. you know, you, nobody needs a computer. Hmm. And they have they have to change people's minds mm-hmm. so but see most companies they don't go phones. out there trying to change people's mind they just try I, to give them what they I, are already asking for i think you kind of have to in order to sell your product no you, i agree you, that you, you have should, to but i don't well, think not, you not would. so much should. if you have a product and you 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 need to sell this product mm-hmm. you have to change that person's mind to tell them you need this no, but see, regardless you only, if you do or not, you only need it for a new product or some a new pers- if well, it's yes, new in a way. One, yeah. If it's anything but else, it's like still what they do with the like the the, the X, hmm. they they really didn't convince people you need it. So um, uh, but they lost sales. Other than you, no, I was kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well. I love well, iPhone, they, they so made... <laughs> I'm gonna buy it regardless. No, no, I just I I, I, I fall into that. Yeah. I, yeah. I I traded my iPhone 10 like immediately with with within a week. I didn't. I went to Android because they they dropped the ball. Apple. Exactly. Just want to let you know that you have been. I mean, at least, and yeah, at least a, a good people, amount of people. A lot of people. Because I guess so, iPhone I mean, 8 is even like with the new you know new versions of a product, mm. you still kind of have to convince because you're still gonna have to recruit new people because you you're always gonna lose people. Always, hmm. no matter what you do, there's going to be somebody who's going to say, oh, "I don't like this," and I'm going to go to Android like him. Hmm. So you have to recruit new people, you know, new customers. You have to re- convince so every have sale to, you have to sell. Yeah, like you have way. to convince them that they need this. Yeah, no, but I was saying is like, 
it's true for the first product if it's like whatever. So like the iPhone 10 is not a new product. It's a iteration on the original. It's not iPhone. a new product, but it has new things. It does. And but it's has, like the very first iPhone. Yeah, you know, like, like the like, first one, you have well, to yeah, do that. But first, all the other ones, well, usually a company, all companies, the iPad, they have the first something. iPad. Yeah. You know? yeah, all companies will do one original idea because that's what's going to make them successful. Yeah. And then what they end up doing is because of the success of the original product, they'll just start listening to the customer and adding whatever the customer tells them yeah. instead of telling the customer. One of the unique things about Apple is they keep mm. that mentality of we know best. And sometimes they're right. And, and sometimes I think, they're wrong. <laughs> yes, that's the kind of the trade-off you get with them. Like you're never going to convince Apple they're wrong about what they think. You I mean, unless you push back anybody. hard. <laughs> no, but unless no. their sales, <laughs> unless their sales yeah. take a nosedive, that's the only way. Yeah, but convince most them. other companies, they just iterate. Like they're always asking the customer what they want and delivering what they want. Like and Google that's also, or, or Facebook or Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. 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 Yeah, 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 like they just ask the customer what they want and just give them, give them that. But also, you need that element of predicting what the customer to giving them things that they didn't know that they wanted which is what i think yeah. you were saying but even at amazon today i mean they're still convincing people that you need yeah, because you have to, you, you need of, them yeah you need yeah. that second part the yeah. part you're talking about is the yeah. one that you need yeah. in the long run you have to constantly yeah. constantly predict what they want or resell your yeah. product as if it's your first but that's day. not the tendency yeah. for most companies i think people are learning it since through the history of capitalism or the history of companies people are learning that lesson more and more but it's so easy just to get your first product off the ground the person the creative person makes it it's and all, then the managers just start like micromanaging like oh let's add this feature this person and then cluttering a product. It, well, that's it's what, a lot harder today because you have so many options but, so but i the, think the business model has always been the same plus a business cycle okay. usually perpetuates cash cows anyways yeah but see when you have a cash cow you don't want to kill the golden goose to a certain degree so you that's also what makes it hard like i think it's, like that's well that's what makes apple weird because they kill their cash cows no but i don't know if they well they, they like they, did, they, they killed the they iPod, did, the ipod they did in the era of steve well, jobs they, did, they, they killed, killed the ipod because you don't need it anymore yeah. right but, but the like ipod said, was but, a cash but, cow but but the ipod was a cash cow for apple oh, right oh, and, yes. and, and so it was a cash cow for the for the iphone right see, what's their it was that little stepping stone. So what happens did. is like, what's really weird is like nobody needed an iPod after iPhone came out. But right, but they, that's exactly they they killed well, it. But people still well, no, but the iPod. iPod. No, well, actually, that's a little bit different because they put out the iPhone and the iPod was still out. They only killed yeah. version the least performing probably portions of the iPod slowly over time. Yeah, as once the iPhone they, became better. Once they came out with the iPod Touch, they put all the other ones away. But what what I'm they saying is uh, them, normal just, business, normal business. By the yeah. way, what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is Apple. By operating differently is a normal business that has a cash cow like an iPod they will continue to always iterate on iPod and never actually make an iPhone because why would you because you got this cash well, cow and you're gonna my money yeah, will be raining every day well, they got, money, money will be raining every day from here on to well, end of time which it doesn't work the, uh, iPod touches the problem they got they they came up to them is that people wanted the iPod to be like the iPhone Oh no no! Uh, I think he's talking the, about the when, touch, the iPod touch. I think he's talking about so that. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's talking about like when they came up with, with the, the iPod, idea with the, the iPhone with the, with the wheel, with the little. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wheel. Well, yeah. Like, they had to throw that away. Yeah. They, they but kinda, no. But I think what he's talking about is why did Apple? Because most companies wouldn't do this. When you have a cash cow like the iPod, you would just keep building on top of that because and just milking products, it for everything. Because that you had worth. products that, that were a lot better. The they were the best MP3 player, and no one touched yeah. them when it came to MP3 players. Yeah, but players. they were the same thing. Would you have the same? No, he, I think he's talking iPod like no, in I'm 2004. Would you have the same capability of an iPod and be ha and have a oh, I'm, I'm, a phone? What I'm talking yeah. about and have a screen. Right? What I'm talking about is business practices from 04. Like yeah, to, uh, like well, the, yeah, that. yeah. No, it made sense back then perfectly. Yeah, because there was no such thing as a and touch I, screen phone. Right, yeah. exactly. But Apple it made mean, that basically for the exactly. most. Exactly. Yeah. So, but the, he's saying at is the most time, companies they wouldn't. had to throw that product away because it was wait at what know, time at what yeah because huh? like because they I'm, threw it away like in 10 12 something like that like very late no, after the iphone no actually they still sold it up the ipod classic couple. i think could still be bought on apple's website yeah you can, okay. you can but they're throwbacks buy, though. but nobody talks about them <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's that it's that cheap gift that you're and shows up with hmm. that nobody that everybody had you know 15 years ago yeah. but your end thinks it's a cool it's like ipod shovels are like now like exactly. the little dollar machine and give yeah. up prizes exactly. and stuff you yeah. little claw machines yeah but no i i don't know like um, what i what i wanted to ask you tony in, in okay. reference to this whole this whole topic is so what oh, wait, are just the quick point though i did want to say like 
all I want to say is for Apple, I don't think it was quite as just to like solidify it. It was as it was as disingenuous as people want to make. Like I think that's built into it a little bit, but I think they really did think the best uh, way we can give the best performance to our customer in our mind I is don't... to scale the battery to the CPU constantly, so you get the most consistent performance versus a spottier performance. And I think obviously the money thing was a factor. At, for, I think money some, was a big factor. I, it could a be, but factor. I think given Apple's like, history, don't give me of, I love Apple. Yeah. I will always buy their phones. I have a love hate relationship with Apple, but. I also, yeah. I have to be skeptical about their business. Yeah, I and mean, I'm okay with just, the skepticism, but I'm not saying fine. you should just as long as I understand it, yeah. that they will do shitty shit. And I, I mean, shady but see, shit. I don't think it was shitty in their mind. It was a bad situation, it, well, it was and shitty. they chose the one that least, made the most sense to them, and it makes the most sense given what they said their philosophy is and what they've done for their entire history, which is that. Um, Simple, the elegance of the performance for the end customer, your experience. Yeah, That's experience. the one I'm looking for. It was the most consistent, and it makes sense for all their products. It doesn't look like, oh, they were doing the Apple thing, and then all of a sudden they went against the normal Apple ethic and decided, like, we're just going to make a crap ton of money. I mean, part of Apple's ethic is to make a crap ton of money, but it's in <laughs> it line has, with that it, other ethic. It like, has they kinda always come been. Steve well, Jobs' idea was to advance. But Apple as a company was always no, to Apple make money. Had, <laughs> Apple like, is Steve Jobs' child, and... Uh, as, at least so far, it's retained true to Steve Jobs' values or the ones that he built into the company. Well, I think yeah. I think as consumers, or we always tell, we always yeah. have to carry a bit of cynicism yeah, of with course. with companies. Yeah, I'm not saying you should give Apple a free pass, but I'm also saying like it's very consistent with what they've done. So you shouldn't just assume malice. You could just as easily assume stupidity. And I think that's yeah. even a rule. Well, I, I mean, stupidity <laughs> before malice. Don't huh. get me wrong. I'm not saying that or the whole battery thing is a big deal. I don't. Because I expect companies to do that personally. I expect companies to kill my devices mm. just so I can go buy another one mm. and so they can make more money. It like the computer I, you know, I built. I expect that computer to die in about five years. Yeah, my computer is on its last I legs. built it, you know, put the parts in it, but I expect that some of those parts die. Yeah, because those companies, they need to stay alive. Well, I don't think they'll yeah, do it to I'm stop. Not. I don't plan to obsolescence. I think the first company to ever make anything probably thought of that idea, but I don't think it's a. It makes sense in isolation if you hold everything else constant, but in the real world, it doesn't make sense over time. Because if I make a product, like let's say a TV, and I want you to buy the most TVs, you might think, well, then I want this to fail constantly, but it can't fail the first day you get it, right? Because then you're not going to do it. So I have to find the optimum time quote unquote for it to fail so that you'll buy another tv 10 years well, yeah. yeah but then if i'm doing there's a there's also trade-offs the more that it becomes but you're obsolete, not you're not going to build a tv that's going to last 100 years i will if i'm competing with someone that's going to build a tv that's no, going to last for 10 years no because it no wants, but if i'm the company that's no, competing with the other company if you, that's my competitive if, advantage if other companies have tvs that last 10 years and you just build a tv that lasts 100 years once people buy your 100-year-old TV, your business is done. But if I make no TV, I never make any money at all. That's true. But your business but is so dead. Some money is but more from the good. business then, point of view, you need... Once you have market penetration, then you're basically done. What do you mean? Well, if once you sell to every consumer that's going to buy a TV, exactly. it's going to last 100 Unless, years. You're never going to get an upgrade. You're never going to get repeat business. Exactly. You're not going to have growth. Is, okay. we, no, you will if you build on top of it. Because if you think like, see, planned obsolescence, it's for the lazy companies that keep dying off right now. And most companies have learned this lesson through history. If I can build a hundred dollar uh, TV that lasts a hundred years at a price that people want, that's key because it depends on the quality of my parts or whatever. Because I think in people's heads they think well, like yeah, for no cost they no, can turn no, a TV get, that from will a last ten years to hundred years. You, from a consumer point of view, hell yeah, I want a TV that lasts hundred years. If it costs a thousand dollars more, I don't care. I'll pay that two thousand dollars. I don't. I want the TV that was gonna no. probably for a thousand dollars less. I'll if take it's one that last, last. If it's gonna last a hundred years and I pass on to my kids and their kids. <laughs> <laughs> and to where they don't have to buy a TV? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll pay two, three thousand dollars for a TV. All right, so we'll see. I'd That's, rather pay a couple hundred dollars for a TV that lasts ten years. But here's but why, and I think most people. The, agree but here's with the me. problem: the my better. kids and my grandkids, I'm not gonna. Ha- 
I'm not gonna buy your TVs because they already have a TV. The one that's every ten years? No, they will because my because mine keep going You're, because they uh, only last ten years. My newest model, you have one that's lasted. But why right? do I need to buy a new model? One because because the yours, last model is because stick. yeah, you bought one that lasts a hundred years and it's four eighty p. My newest model is ten k. Your last model is grainy vision. Mine is like perfect but picture quality. But would I care if I know my TV is gonna last yes. hundred years? No, yes. I won't. People, no. people honestly, care on, about on, picture I'm quality. sorry, I got to give you this to Tony because no. I no, we have, wait, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's gonna be that hold small on. market. Let, like let me tell you this. Right like now. No, I agree. There's gonna there's be, gonna be that there's small always market a market that will care. Yes, there is, but it might not be sustainable for the but business. But the majority that you're market will not give a damn. No, let a me, majority of the market no, will. Let me tell you this right now. We bought our TV for like damn near 10k, and it's an 80 inch TV, and it's 1080p. And I wish that we waited like five more years so we can get a 4k TV. Well, well, yeah. You know, like but, even even let's just say that 1080p let's say that 1080p is not going to last a hundred years. But let's just say even if it does, even if it does last, there's going to be 8K displays, and then there's going to be like well, you true. know, like. But are you at a point where you're just like, man, I can't see shit on this TV? No. You can no, but see. Watch. Not, not, no, but see. <laughs> right? Wait, wait. No, by <laughs> that logic, you, then Lewis should be upgrading his phone every three to four years, which is something that I kind of do. But everyone tells me I'm crazy, even though basically my phone runs as well as it did before, for the most part. No, it does. It, it does. It, it, it gets. You can't take phone calls. Right this second. There are <laughs> errors. There are errors, okay. and I can reset it. I. I have very specific situations, so I'm not trying you to You have workarounds. Okay, got it. No, Continue. well, I have specific things that are kind of holding me back. Like, I could reset my phone right now, in theory, and it would pretty much be as good as it was then, except for the fact that a few apps are a little more intensive than they used to be. But that's innovation on the apps thing yeah. that's kind of holding my hardware down. But it hasn't gotten that much worse. But people, most people, they upgrade every two years, not because the quality of the picture has gone down. It's because there are better things out there, and they want the better things. Yeah, but they also know that eventually their phone is going to crap out. Eventually, but people don't on average, they do not give up their phones when they crap out. They give, give up them up th as soon as the new thing comes out. And not even as soon, because there's there's a balance. People are always making a calculus, and the calculus was about two years, and for a period of time, it was almost one and a half years people were upgrading. But now it's lasting about three, three plus years that people are upgrading on average because the innovations haven't been that big, at least from the consumer's mindset. So you can see people True. want to make the trade-off, but they'll only do it when it's beneficial to them. So I'm sure okay. there's people that so want for, it for 100 years. Okay, so as far as TVs, 4K is affordable right now. Or something, yeah, it is. Right? It is. How many people wow. do you think are, how many people do you think still have a 1080p TVs? A lot. A lot. Even though you can pretty much buy a 4K, I think it's like for about the same price as a 1080. Yeah. yeah. Or actually, I mean, yeah, or, yeah, pretty much. But a lot is a big number. Like, like but it could I be think, a small percentage. I think uh, the, reason, the last, the the last time I was aware, they, the last time I was made aware of the stats was like 90% is 1080p. 10% uh, is 4K as far as like the general yeah. population. Even That's a small the, percentage. Even though well, it depends on the what prices you, is pretty Yeah, like similar. I can go to Walmart down the street and buy a 4K TV for $500. Okay, well see, me personally, I don't know how average I am. I'm going to assume I'm below average. That does not sound very affordable. But y'all put that in the affordable category. Well, I mean, yeah. so it well, depends on, well, I mean, it depends on people, what size. Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. it's also an, an extra expenditure of money that you people But that's how much 1080p TVs would cost. I mean, well, you can find a TV like that, like for like 100 bucks. But that's also that's also 1080p. Well, but, I mean, uh, you can buy a fork. Well, at Walmart, they have what? What was it? Roku TV. Yeah. You can buy it for two, three hundred dollars. I, I think like whenever it goes on sale, it's around three hundred dollars. Okay. And it's about what forty, fifty inch TV. Yeah, and also so, by I the mean, way, yeah, I'm, I'm by the way, Black Friday. I mean, your people buy the TVs usually around the holidays and stuff. Yeah. Those bitches go on sale like, like really but, like low ass. But the question is, why aren't people buying it? I mean, the quality is better. No, because maybe why the price people well, aren't it. The TVs right now, I feel like okay. So let me ask a quick semi side question, but I want to. I'll try to bring it back very quickly. CRT TVs, they what's the highest they can go up to? 1080, uh, 720? Uh, 480i. 480i? Uh, I mean, 720, or actually, no, I take that back. Most four, uh, four CRTs were 480i, but the one, there is a CRT TV model, like at the very end of their life cycle, there were 1080i okay. widescreen, 1080i widescreen CRTs. Okay. So I'm going to guess, I have a CRT TV. I was purchased... I want to say about 15 years ago, I have no intentions of replacing that TV anytime soon whatsoever. Okay, why? Because, well, me, I'm price conscientious. The picture is good enough for me. 
<laughs> so the, <laughs> they burn, that's they my hurt point. my eyes. They hurt that, my eyes. That is my yeah, point. But no, exactly. but see, that's my point too. You were saying they're planned obsolescence. That TV should have broken down a no, long time ago. My my point was that when you buy that TV, as long as you're satisfied with the picture, you don't care no, what the see, new no, no, no. model. See, you're, you're not going to um, give a damn what the new model has, as long as no, you're trying to, what you got. You're yeah, trying to homogenize you know, the market. No, if you know your TV is going to last a hundred years without any repairs, you know this, and you can still wa- plug Watch. in that case boy you watch whatever show See, that's you- the thing i don't assume my preferences speak to the whole market and i'm i come in a because i think maybe y'all might be a little more middle class it's easier for y'all to imagine that the whole market agrees with you i'm in a segment of the market that's abnormal for the most part you're poor so, got it well, well I, I could also be spectacularly rich i mean that's not well, what no. it is but i would be out well, of no. lockstep with the general I, market I, I think most people are price conscious. Yeah, they're but to different degrees because it depends on how much income they're making. Well, if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year, a five hundred dollar TV, you'll get that real quick. Even true. if the last TV you paid for was a thousand dollars, you might be like, "Dang, you're not gonna think like, oh, I have to waste another five hundred dollars for a TV." True. It's not gonna be anything. But to you. you're also gonna consider take uh, your TV in considerations too. You're not, you're not, you're not just going to go buy no, a TV because I, while your TV is perfect. No, because I can fine. tell you, like, yeah. one of the reasons that I'm not, I, I'm perfectly happy with my TV, but if I was making, let's say, a hundred, if I was making a million dollars a year, it wouldn't feel, it feels like a bigger consideration at my current income level, but if I was making a million dollars a year, I, it would be like getting a burger at okay. in and out Okay, but with your business model... You have to appeal to the everyday person. No, you have like to appeal us. to whatever segment will make you profitable. True. You can go but wide or but, you can go deep. Well, true. But if you're selling on TVs, you kind of have to appeal to everybody. Not necessarily. Because like, <laughs> you if you, do. Well, it depends. Because, you, if you're selling nah, TVs I mean, if, you're selling, if you're selling TVs with you know, 24 carry go all the way around, yeah, your, your market is going to be that 1%. And right? if you're selling like a classic CRT TV just for nostalgia, it's also going to be low, but people will, will pay for nostalgia. Yeah. That's also a market too. It's a small market. Well, it's a debate about how big that market is. But I bet you could convince people, at least for the style of an old style TV, just for the nostalgia sake, you do that. But yeah, there are bigger segments of the market and smaller segments. I agree with you there. But you can appeal to them in portions or you can appeal to them widely. And I think most people, okay. the companies tend to be... Re- fairly responsive to people's demands. I don't think most people want a TV. That but I think forever. they're response, responsive to people's commands because they'll know they're going to lose that uh, business. That Those customers yeah. if they don't. Yeah. And see, that's my point. I think my general point is like the market is fairly, it's much more responsive than anything else because you have to care about your bottom line. Like the yeah. reason they don't make TVs that last for which 100 is, years. Exactly. Which is why they don't make it. No, no, no. Well, I would say one of the reasons probably is most people don't Given how technology is progressing, for TV specifically, most people aren't going to want a TV that lasts 100 years if it's going to cost like six figures. They'd rather have, you know, and I don't know how much it would cost. I don't know. Year I know. TV. That sounds like a good deal to me. No, for you. A TV? Yeah, but you're not everyone. No, no, thing, no. Think about it. Okay. Let's think of a car, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody needs a car. If I told you that your car will guarantee to run for a hundred years without any problems, guaranteed, and I told you that car is thirty thousand dollars, would you buy that car? Actually, I wouldn't. But I'm gonna tell you why. No, let me tell you why. No, no, because no, because no. In your hypothetical imagination, I would. But in the real world, I would be like, so you're gonna sell me a car for thirty thousand dollars a year. Uh, for thirty thousand dollars, period. Yeah, and it'll last a hundred years, guaranteed. Even though, as long after, as there's no car accident, as long as there's no yeah, car accident. Yeah. All right. And then, but in a world where the cheapest cars are probably like fifteen thousand with no features, so I don't know what features you are and aren't. Aren't no, it doesn't it. matter. It does. I, I'm guaranteed. No, you can add that shit. To no, so it, it could be that I have to drive the car manually. It's no automatic. It doesn't have power windows. It doesn't have air conditioning. Do you it care? Have, like it could be Do missing. Do you care? Would you care? Yes. Yes. You would care <laughs> if you if you got a car for thirty thousand, they're guaranteed to run for a hundred years. You would care if it's automatic or if it was manual, if it didn't have power windows, if you had to drive stick, it wasn't automatic at all. If it uh, didn't have air conditioning or oh hell no, I can't. The air yeah. conditioning, that's the one. See? That's the one See, that does. There's man. the thing for different people, it's different thing. I think you might be a little bit more like me in the price conscientiousness thing, but most people aren't. They like the luxuries will, in life. I will. I would take out. 
a hundred thousand dollar loan for that damn car. <laughs> but see, so, okay, but see, that's with all the features. Yeah, 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 you have different priorities. That's the thing. Well, no, because that car is gonna last a hundred years. I can pay off that thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, I might be in debt for a while, but I, I'll, I'll no, but see, that's the other thing. In the real but world, I would never have to buy that, that car again. No, but see, here's the thing. In the real world, there are already cars that cost $30,000, and they don't last 100 years. They might last exactly. with no maintenance, and you're also including no, no maintenance. No, I get okay, that. I think I get I, you know what I'm saying? No, low, well, low no I'm saying your deal, I'm assuming, is no maintenance. I won't have to like replace things constantly. No, no. Right? Cars no, require no, maintenance. I, Okay, so then I'm gonna. It's basically gonna be a thirty thousand dollar car then, because you can exactly. make a thirty thousand dollar exactly. car today last a hundred years if no, you're willing you to can. replace a lot of stuff. You, you not. Yes. Nope. Uh, Jay Leno's uh, has a TV show. He's got cars from the eighteen hundreds that still work because you yes, just constantly but, replace. But, them yeah, cars. but exactly, he's replacing to the point that the original car is no longer the original car. Yeah. Exactly. But to so the point, you're saying you're no, not no, gonna need that No, no, but to that point, that car is not just not. He, you can he can have the original parts on there. No. no. He can't, but it's that maintenance that he has to constantly. So that thirty thousand car, ten, fifteen years from from then, will be you know forty thousand, fifty thousand. With the maintenance cost. So you're saying yeah. you're gonna sell me a car that costs thirty thousand dollars total for all uh, costs ma- minus let's just say gas. Let's just say I, I made a car like that. Let's just. But say, see, here's the thing. In your imagination, just, no, no, you, no, wait, wait, no. This is what I'm saying. See, in see, your imagination, you're arguing you can, semantics again. No, like I'm not. I'm the really last not. Time. In your imagination, you, you, you look. Here, in my imagination, I can sell you a one pill that will keep you sated, not hungry again for a hundred years. That works in my imagination because I'm not including reality at all. In your imagination, I don't care about the real. I'm I know asking, you don't. No, that's no, what I'm saying. In, that's not, yeah, that's in your not, imagination, no, you not can the make a car for thirty thousand dollars that lasts hundred years. Not, I'm not. But in taking, reality, that might not be possible. If you we're talking about reality, of course, you know, I'm not going to build a car that's. No, less. I'm not saying if you're going to. I'm saying is it even possible to make <laughs> no, a car that no, costs thirty thousand dollars that lasts hundred years? No, it's not. So then, why would you? See, the problem I, with I'm, that argument is companies have to work in the real world. No, what what you're saying is that. You believe companies for quality of? No, I think they'll do whatever the customer wants. Like some people want lesser quality and a cheaper price. I, I and some don't think that's their high... number one priority. Their I just know one... their priority is to make the so, dollar. No. So let me ask you, Tony. I've been trying to ask you this question this entire time. You keep yes, cutting sorry. me off. I know. Well, okay. I wanted to make sure. To so get the last point. also, <laughs> we're wrapping up the topic, by the way, just in case you didn't notice. Um, that's another reason why I wanted to do it at the end. But. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm, I'm watching the time. Anyways, okay. uh, so my question to you is the. What are are there responsive do companies have responsibilities to its consumers? Maybe. Yeah, if there was no F F in uh, what sense? FCC? Yeah. If there was like, no like, FCC to Overwatch. To, Overwatch. Uh, uh to not Overwatch. Uh, <laughs> to, to overlook, oversee oversee, uh, oversee yeah. them. And yeah. w- would you think they'll still be what they are right now? Do no, you, they'd probably do, be better. Th- and they're probably less of there'd probably no, be more uh, of them. No. There'd probably be better quality. And so, wait, so, what, with one small caveat, there is a you, you there know is those, a tragedy you, of the commons thing with the airwaves. Maybe if it is a limited resource, that's kind of like you know that we all have to share, kind of like the water thing. There might be an issue about how that's what you call it. But if we put that aside real quick, if like the real complexity is these real isolated situations, if we pretend the FCC and what the yeah. companies that they regulate are like all the normal businesses, like iPhones and stuff like that, if we can look at it that way, then yes. But there is a very specific issue. I call bullshit on that. And you know why? Why? Okay. Whenever cars would start, you know, coming around 100 years ago, mm-hmm. there was no such thing as baby seats, car seats. Yeah. Right? What do you mean, baby? Like the, the ones that kids sit well, in? Yeah. Okay. There was no such thing. Yeah. People would just put the babies in there, you know, car crash, that baby is out the window. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So. It's those kind of regulations. No, but see, that, that's the thing. I don't think that com- those that's car those, companies would have made it by themselves. See, that's one of the problems I have. Like, Neil deGrasse- and if they did made it, they'll probably make it like right now, 2018. Yeah. It will be the time where car season would be invented. Well, see, I would say this. The, here's the thing. How do I put this? I think people that make that argument, and it used to be powerful that has with me. To be regulation. You're only running history in one. You're running the experiment only one time. So because the institution existed when that, um, let's say, innovation came along, you assume that innovation couldn't have existed without that institution. Well, think but of- no, but see, Neil deGrasse Tyson makes that same argument, and I I used to get it when I didn't know as much. 
He says because Na- because of Na- all the money we put into NASA, we have Velcro and microwaves and all this extra stuff. Like, so in my normal mind, like, oh, dang, we need NASA because we wouldn't have all these amazing things. Here's the problem with that. That assumes those things couldn't have been invented even if NASA wasn't around. Now, they might have taken a one or two years later, a few years later, and some of that's okay. Even the car seat thing, it might not have been the time for them to put the car seats in. Maybe most people weren't driving with their babies in the car. Maybe most people were willing to take the risk. Like, no, and this is real <laughs> stuff. Like, the cost of an extra seatbelt in a car, it's like, I don't know. I'm going to put a number on it that's not going to be based in reality at all. Let's say it costs $1,000 to add seatbelts, right? <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, but that is expensive. Okay, expensive. Seat yeah, expensive okay. Seat I'll throw another. Let's say fifty dollars. <laughs> I don't know if it's fifty. We'll call it a, a like material and like springs and like mechanism. Are you talking about just the research to, and development right, well, for no, the like seatbelt? Just the or just okay. let's call it a hundred because I don't yeah. know what the material. I, I wouldn't even go as far as that. Yeah, let's, okay. let's, yeah, let's go. With well, I would say like ten, fifteen. I'll bucks. say this: in a free market. <laughs> People would have the option to choose, I want this car that's $100 cheaper with no seatbelts, or I want this car that's $100 more expensive, probably plus profit, so $120 because, like, I'm yeah, getting extra needed, features. Yeah, but they needed, they, they, the regulation for seatbelt needed, because when seatbelts came around, people didn't, they didn't, th- they didn't think they needed seatbelts. And that's their and choice they didn't to think buy a lot it. of stuff. And they didn't buy cars with seatbelts. Yeah. And until the regulation forced them to yeah, buy. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. And then, like, the- and then laws tell us to put them on when we're on in okay, the car. But see, yeah. That's the thing. People should be free to take the risk that they want with their lives. Yeah, but if you're going to die, that's does the- it really matter? No, it does. See, and <laughs> no, see, that's, that does. Pen- there was a Pendulet <laughs> video I shared with Lewis. <laughs> and he's describing like um, why he believes in libertarianism. And when he starts off the video, he talks about he's never drunk a drop of alcohol in his life. He's never smoked weed or whatever, but he believes other people should. And then okay. he's lived a, like, I think he's like 60 or something yeah. right now. Yeah. So 60 years, never touched anything. And then he's like, but when I think about Kurt Cobain or when I think about freddie mercury or like yeah. these people that kind of died young. young and i think about the lives they live i know i would never want to live that life this is him talking so right but do i can i tell say for sure that that wasn't the right life for kurt cobain for freddie mercury to do all these drugs to do all these things i can't and here's why people always make the assumption because the people that are willing to say this they assume a long life is always the goal it's not always the goal sometimes a short life that's meaningful is better than a long life that's unmeaningful in fact almost always that's the case yeah, but the seabed regulation isn't just you protecting yourself from yourself. It's protecting you from the idiot that's about to crash into you. No, well, and then I will choose <laughs> if I want to take that risk or not. Maybe, yeah, and, but, but see, if the, that regulation wasn't in place, would you have that seabed on? No, you wouldn't. No, I would. I, no, no, so I was no, because I don't. There's there's regulations out there saying you can't smoke no. crack, but I have crack fairly easily accessible to me. Okay, or a lot of the drugs that you're not supposed to. Facebook. No, but see, I've never used it, right? So even if there's a regulation out there, if I wanted to, I could get it like that. If I wanted to get weed, I could get it like that. It would be almost no effort. So there's regulations that saying I can't, but if I wanted to, I couldn't. So why am I choosing not to? Because it's a rule that doesn't exist in my mind. It doesn't exist to the people that I interact with because I can get it like that. We're not getting anywhere. All right, let's move on to the next next topic. No, but see, you you are. But see here, because the rules you're saying it doesn't make sense that people would only put on seatbelts if they were forced to because there's lots of things that I could get away with that I don't do well, and there's true. lots of things that I do because I know by myself it's by true. looking at the world that I should do it and there's a few things in between where I'm not doing the right things and I'm going to have to suffer the consequences and then I'll either learn from those mistakes or other people will learn by watching so like the which, first person which, wait hold on whoa 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 right there stop that's what regulations come from it's from watching history on no, oh, wait, well, hold on. Yeah. If you take away regulations, uh, Juan was arguing this on Facebook. And I'm not saying Juan, all regulations. Because I feel like that was, I, I think for some reason, everything slipped in. I'm wow, total anarchy. Okay. Which is, I okay. was very hold on, hold on, about all right. not that. Let me just make sure, like, but let's just say, let, regulations, every every law that comes into existence comes into existence for a reason. But not someone, always a good someone reason. somewhere fucked up. No. Okay. Uh, Ooh, what do you mean? We're going to, no. we're going to go with that assumption. <laughs> All right, like uh, fucking, I, I'm Facebook and I leak your private information. We need a law to change that stat. Okay, that law comes into existence because someone dropped the ball. All right. So what happens is when you give, when you scale back regulations, it doesn't matter what it is, but something that we're like, we're gonna, we're just gonna cut this red tape. There's gonna be a rubber band effect because the mistakes that led to that regulation coming in a, in, a, in its place in the first place will come will be needed again. What I would say is, well, I don't know if this is going to be relevant, but we, everyone at the table believes in evolution, right? Right. Well, 
Yes. Okay. So I just want that may or may not come to topic. We'll see how this sentence goes on. But I don't think it would be a topic. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> All right, continue. Continue. Here's the thing. Okay. Well, I'll just go straight into it, and then I'll try to come closer back. This is going to be a tangent, but it kind of curves in if I can do this correctly. And if we believe in evolution. And I'm just going to assume most people are generally atheistic when they believe in evolution. You believe in spontaneous order, which means without any guidance, without any forethought, order comes from nothing. Right? Okay. That's what evolution says. Like life just came up and then even from a single cell to multi -cell, multi -cell organism that yeah. I am, it came through spontaneous order over time. That's mm -hmm. just evolution. Regulations they are counter evolution and then they they feel <laughs> in that they feel you need it's basically creationism <laughs> or intelligent design the only way this system can work you, is that if an intelligent you designer designs the rules and on. makes everything correctly i'm gonna I'm pause, right. you, for the same I'm pause right. you for a second okay right. are you telling me that a seatbelt is prohibiting evolution no, I'm saying uh, the idea. I'm saying me? the idea to make the rule that people have to wear seatbelts and the car manufacturer has to put in seatbelts is counter evolution. Is it? Yeah. If is you, it really? Yes, because really, what stupidity? Is, okay, no, because it assumes no. it assumes <laughs> that order cannot come by its own. That it they has can. to be enforced from above. This is, so you, you believe remember, that, remember that's God. the Dark Ages? I mean, I don't know if you well. No, but, see, remember, okay, but even but in evolution, it, lots of things it, die. Remember, I'm not you, take you that learn out. about the Dark Ages, yeah. right? Remember, you know, kings, queens, I'm you know, right? Semi familiar, right? Okay, there was no laws. There People, were. It's no, just whatever the king no, or queen well, or whatever true, said. True, but it's not. It was, okay, it was their rules, basically. Yeah, it was and rule by king. Rule whim, but, by whim too. but but no, no, I want to stop right there. Rule by whim. That's very. That's that's literally my whole thing. That's but, my thing right there. Okay, That's the okay, whole reason okay. why I don't like regulation and all this stuff. It's we're supposed to be ruled by law, but if we're not, everyone tries to act like this is a democracy. It's not. It's a republic, and no one understands why because everyone calls it a democracy, and we pretend in the culture that it's a democracy. If it was a democracy, it would be the same freaking problem. It Rule by king, rule by queen is rule by whim. Rule by democracy is also rule by whim. It's the whims of the masses. The reason we're not a democracy is to fight that. It's also We're a republic because we don't want rule by one person but we also don't want rule by the majority they have a phrase for it it's called tyranny of majority you can also call it mob rule all right misha okay. continue you were you were we you were he interrupted I, you i just don't think i think there has to be regulation period well yeah. i would say it has to be I, well, mean, that's, that's, I would say just, quickly, like Darth Vader said, I find your lack of faith disturbing. disturbing. All right, that yeah, is the end of fine. that topic. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm is okay the end of that, that topic. I like it. I think that was there. there, there but I will a, say there's there, actual reasons beyond it, not just faith. There but is in, there. The, we have reached an impasse, and that's that's it's what not that's, an, that's no. what happened last week. And no. this that's no, we'll see. It's not an impasse. It's just it, this conversation takes time. History belies everything that he kind of thinks. Not in the short term, but in the long term. Since 1700 to now, history will. It kind of goes against everything he thinks. But from 1950 or 1900 to now, it seems like everything he says makes sense. But because people, we're not taught the full history because we there's a general consensus in the culture that everything before now is wrong. Like, we finally have it right now. Yeah. Like, we got it right. But the thing is, throughout history, everyone has thought that at every single day <laughs> in history. Well, now true, we true. figured it out. Yeah. Now we got it. Yeah. I don't think so that's not a good I reason. I don't think, no, I... Actually, there is a lot of people think that we have it right now. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, but see, that's but like, we still need regulation to get to that. No, point. and see, I, I think that regulate without that regulation, get into the right point mm -hmm. that you want to be in, will not happen as quickly as you want, you believe it would. No, actually, it will get more quickly, but no, it, it no, wouldn't. it will because no. evolution makes things because, happen very no, quickly. Without regulation. But and let's say me, you make and it a depends phone. on the no. Regulation. Hold on. Let's say you make a phone and I make a phone, mm -hmm. right? With two different companies. standards, without rules and regulation and laws and shit See, like that. Hold on, hold on. And your, you know, your your phone is a lot better than mine, and you know, people buying all your products and shit. And I'm the, you know, the little guy make, you know, sell maybe five phones a day. <laughs> Without all those rules and regulation, I can go to your company, kill you, 
take your shit, you take it to my place. Well, and murder and, is not a regulation. That's like, a, see, that's a, what I wanted law. to say. I believe, I, I, no, I'm not but against I'm not laws, just, I'm and not I'm not just, against rules, and I'm not even really against regulation. Of, okay, no, I'm you're only, trying, no, no, I'm that, only against you regulation you if you're using no, no. it in the political sense. <laughs> no. I'm for cultural regulation, and I'm for laws. Okay? Cultural and regulation? Yes, yeah, because I can influence people through the culture, and the culture can influence me. Like, there's a, why don't we just go around just uh, crapping in the streets? I say this because there are countries where people do that. Yeah, the culture but, allows it. So but the, but the culture that, but, can push back. Yeah, but doesn't culture regulation also... Uh, uh, impeach on the freedom? Impeach on the... No, because I still have the choice no, to tell the culture freedom, to go F off. Not, not on freedom, but evolution. <laughs> no, <laughs> because you were saying. No, culture is also an evolved thing. That's another one of the... It's a newer idea I've come across, but it, it just totally makes sense. If you think that people are... Okay, next topic. Uh, yep. I, I don't think we're going to yeah. go, go We're done. It. Well, it's yeah. a big topic and all the things are kind of interweaved. No, it's not a big topic. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> it really was. You made it to a big topic by no, because, going to no, the... No, because I, wanted, I like to, to go the from beginning. the base and work my way up. And so, like, <laughs> it feels like in this very specific instance, we have to have regulation, well, but if you drill down on, into on, it, on, it's on. just feelings a long long time ago it all started with the big bang <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> all right so my next topic i want to talk about is uh, kanye so i saw the tmz <laughs> interview I, I did not see the charlemagne interview but i I'll got a little it. bit of a cliff notes i watched the second one too you did yeah so uh, okay so there's a there's a lot to unpack here uh, as far as the the kanye thing uh, there's the idea I've heard the idea of like whenever you're when you're famous do you have this platform and you have so many followers you know what responsibilities do you have to uh, to the people that follow you you know like there's that there's that aspect there's also the aspect of being able to represent yourself well when you speak for the first time because he did some kind of he tried to walk back some of the stuff or clarify um, but there's just also just what he said in general about slavery being a choice which was Right. That was insane. I mean, it <laughs> wasn't. It was, I mean, it's insane if you literally stop the sentence right here, stop the sentence here, yeah. and then cut that part Actually, out. I think we're, we're in okay. agreement on this one. Okay. Because if so, you selectively edit his mouth, then yes, it's crazy. I think you, right. you have to watch the whole thing because he's all over. First thing we need to say. Kanye is sucks he, at arguing. He, he was high. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If he wasn't high, he was on something. Okay. Because if you watch that interview, he's like everywhere. Yeah. He's throwing ideas and arguments like out their ass. Well, my, so he okay. had no collective thought thought at all. Are well, my like, understanding, my yeah. understanding of Kanye West, and this is but not what as I, far as slavery thing. I think what he meant is that we choose to be enslaved by what we hear today i don't think he meant slavery was a choice 400 years ago no well he said but for came, 400 years no he said for 400 years there was slavery and which factually is incorrect yeah, but, yeah because it was but, only like around for two he, he said that but i think like he said it wrong <laughs> no but see i think he I said it right because what, he was no. trying to say what you're trying to say like if you just think about it he clearly didn't mean for like slavery existed for 400 years because that would mean yeah. slavery would be existing now right clearly well, no, it's slavery not has ex it, it, it didn't exist in america for four but slavery has existed for a long long I'm, ass time i would so i could admit yeah, that but i don't but, think he was talking in that context no i know you so so he was probably talking but, in the American context. Yeah, yeah. He's and if, he did, if you listen to what he said, he would be implying that there's slavery going on today and people are choosing to be well, enslaved. But some he, people do believe they're, they're still being enslaved. And I think no, that's why he was trying to yeah. link it to was that today it's not so much being for slave, mm -hmm. but you choosing to be enslaved by taking on this certain information and just going with the flow without doing the research yourself, without thinking for yourself. You just thinking for what somebody else tells you to think. And he, the point that he was trying to make, you're choosing to be enslaved today. Yeah. And you're, I, you're, you're not. He said that in the not, next line. You, you, yeah. Which is why he, I think. He literally yeah, said, yeah. like, he literally <laughs> said, like, it's like people, 400 years of slavery? That sounds like a choice to me. Like, you know what? Like, I don't even want to use slavery. Because, you know, uh, yeah. like Jews in the Holocaust, black people in slavery, they're like very specific. I think I added that part. But he's like, I like prison better because we can all relate to I prison. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's like, it's yeah. like we're mentally in a prison. He literally said these words right afterwards. Yeah. And I'm not going to disagree that the word choice he used at first was bad. But as someone that has, who gets exposed to ideas and it's so hard to like put it together and burn 
verbalize and make it concrete, I understand where Kanye's coming from because it's coming at him hard and fast. It's like when you get a revelation, it's almost more experiential than verbal. Mm. At first, I, I, so he's. I just think he was way. high. <laughs> well, like, well, well, I think I'm, he was I'm, I'm, I will say this about he was on drugs, high or something. Instead of being high, he could have just be a high on Kanye. Because yeah. my understanding about Kanye is he's he's so full of himself. He's so well, that's egomaniacal. True because like, if you watch, what, what does that have to do with this? Because you always believe what you're saying, no matter what. So, like, it doesn't yeah, matter. I don't need you, to be you, on a substance because I believe in my own hype so well, much. Not so just that, that you don't really need to think about what you're saying. You just you just spit out whatever comes out well, of your mouth. I don't think he was. It's it's like he knows what he's trying to say. But okay, so verbal. When you're able to verbalize something, that's almost the end of the process. There's so much mental process below it where you have senses and well, inklings, yeah. and especially if you're a visual thinker, like he might see what he's trying to say, but then he's trying to translate it into words so we can communicate it to us. Or he might, okay. even, you know what I'm no, saying? No, like, I agree. Like I, artists. No, you know? no, I I agree. Like. I, I I understand where he was trying to go. He just said it wrong. Yeah, but I, I feel like we need the space for people to make mistakes like that and but, get, correct them a little. And I don't even really because he he said whole, it wrong and not he wasn't like lying or it wasn't like counterfactual. It wasn't factual. It's just he didn't say it in a way that people would be able to take understand it. In. it yeah, understand, understand it. Yeah, yeah, it was easily misunderstood. I don't Very think he actually said anything wrong in the full context. But like you said, if you just cut that little snippet, it was really easy to misunderstand. And oh, that yeah. was a mistake. It wasn't as easy to understand for people. But I don't think anything he said was actually wrong. So in not. that sense. But so, I actually think he might no, be wrong. Well, is, so then what he's what he's been saying, this, and so what he was trying to say is that our mm -hmm. mental slavery is, or slash prison is a choice right now in our society. Yes. If you choose to say, let's say the government tells you that ice cream is bad, right? Like Bluebell, right? Yeah, yeah. But without Bluebell having to explain it, and you just accept that fact, and you're like, okay, it's bad. I'm not. You're just, you're just a sheep. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're a sheep. Or yeah. another you one. You need to it question mean, it. You need yeah. to question why it's bad. What's wrong with it? Yeah. I would What's, say not this government any power. I well, think any power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just using that as an example. Like, you need to question it. Yeah, you, you can't you just should. be like you a sheep. Exactly. His and I think that's the message he was trying to say, but he didn't say it. Okay. So, but then what, does it apply to what Kanye was talking about in general? Because it felt like he was talking about black people in America or the slaves. That's what he kind of was. He was, what I felt I think like he was talking about. was America because as far as I know, he's basically not, an American. I, I know, I know. He no. lives in America. Or the, the whole thing was happened. it Was it black black Americans or America? That's what I was getting. What am I, I think my question? Was, the prison thing is all Americans. Probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think to he, differing he, degrees. Well, when you say the slavery, like 400 years of slavery, yeah. he was using the black slavery uh -huh. as a buildup to, 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 hmm. to his thought. Okay. Which came off wrong. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think okay. he was even specifically talking about black people more so. Like, we're all kind of in mental yeah. prisons, but especially black people. And you can tell from what Candace Owens was saying and some of the people who's been tweeting that that's what he's getting at. They're, like, basically yeah. on the Democrat, Democratic plantations. They kind of yeah. went from the Democratic plantations of the fields to the Democratic plantations of the inner cities. And they never got off. So, I mean, his... <laughs> what he was trying to say was noble, but... He just, hmm. he, he he was high. <laughs> that one, I don't know. I, I, I am so convinced he was high. I think he, he was, he, he might, his brain just might be like very. He's an artist. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, literally though, because artists yeah. tend to be very liberal thinkers, so they can think in wide diasporas. And then when you see it in a grand sense, it's sometimes hard to get it all in here and be like, these words mean exactly this whole picture yeah. that I see. I think you had to put it in context of what he was trying to say in the hole. You can't just chop it. What, honestly, I think that's what happened in the 2016 election. What do you mean? The 2016 election to me was that everybody cut off b bits and pieces of each person. Sound bites. Say, yeah. yeah, the sound bites. That's right? what I do. That's what I do. Like, I do Donald this in the show all the time. Like, right? Right? Donald Trump, you know. Yeah. Mexico is sending in, you know, criminals. Build the wall, and, and, build right? Yeah, yeah. And like that's why we need the wall because they're sending in the worst yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. How, but when you take the whole thing into what he was, the message he was trying to deliver, he goes beyond that. Hmm. So you're a Trump supporter. Tell me more about this. I am Trump supporter. Really? Oh. But I wasn't a Trump supporter. You oh. know who convinced me to be a Trump who? supporter? Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to I, God. Like, honestly, to tell you the truth, just for me, I, know. I, I, I used to be a Hillary Clinton supporter. Mm -hmm. 
I was a Bernie yeah, Sanders supporter. First one. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter. Yeah, I was her supporter from the first election. Mm-hmm. And then after what happened with her being Secretary of State, blah, 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 and I was like, this bitch is weird. She sucks. Yeah. So she sucks. And yeah. she, you know, I'm very pro military. I'm very pro, you know, law enforcement, rule of law, you know, the order of things, you know, regulation and all that shit. But mm-hmm. re- reasonable regulation. I'm not saying that we should regulate every fucking thing out the ass. Reasonable regulation, and right? To th- Seat belts, that, I, reasonable that regulation. Too. I think we just okay. agree about what's reasonable in reality. Uh, hmm. Or what would happen? Topic is done. Now, anyways, see, that's the thing. Uh, we're no, talking no, about no. sound bites. That's the problem with these conversations. Like, I usually prefer like the kind of Joe Rogan yeah. podcast kind of things where they have like they can really dish out and yeah. do this kind of stuff right. because everybody wants something quickly and easily digestible. And that's not even true because Joe Rogan is one of the most popular podcasts in the world. And he does like three hour podcasts on the daily. Yeah. So daily? Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't know. Or at least was... five times a week. God damn. Yeah. I... I can only do this yeah. once a week. Yeah. <laughs> so he's grinding hard with these conversations and it's things that has to evolve naturally over time. But if you have to compress everything into like 20 minute windows, like the news needs, you know, to make a 30 minute yeah. show or whatever, you can't have the full conversation or if you need to. But anyways, back to what I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> because we already went over this. Yes. All the sound bites from Donald Trump is what made me like, I'm the kind of person when I see a sound bite, I was like, okay. I'm not going to judge it. I'm going to, I need to see what context context it came from. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll watch the speeches. I read the, you know, his speeches and stuff like that. You know, like, okay, it makes sense. He's not the greatest speaker in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Barack Obama was pretty great at speech. Yes. You know, he was great at sounding like he was what he was talking about. Barack Obama was great. But the thing that Barack Obama lacked for me was, his social justice kind of mentality, hmm. which I don't believe. Well, I mean, to a certain degree, I think we, there needs to be social justice, but it has to, to be progressed naturally. Hmm. You know what uh, I mean? You yeah. can't push it too fast because then... It's just a tyrannical yeah, or yeah, authoritarian. You know, you're going to hit you're gonna, and you'll get a backlash. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you're going to hit that brick wall and everything's just going to go downhill. Okay. So... Well, Trump, he he sucks at speaking. <laughs> I would debate that term. Well, he, no. He's really good at speaking to people in the soundbite world. He's He'll emphasize his points. He'll repeat no, the same he, thing multiple times. He'll get it in well, your head. Well, yes. So but that's a good look, communicator No, me. when you look at it, like his, uh, not so much point of view, his, um, his, I don't know what I'm trying to say. His, what, is it, what, like the, okay. uh, his style? Like, no. what do you mean? Like, when you look at his behavior, his behavior? idea, oh, his, okay. you know, whatever, and you, you put the whole thing in perspective, and you're just like, okay, he's not just building a wall because he wants to keep Mexicans out. Right. It has to do with security. It has to do with this. It ha- and it also has to do, like, I, you know, I'm an immigrant. Okay. <laughs> I'm an immigrant. Mother okay? Russia. Yeah. <laughs> right? And the first time I came to US in ninety four. Mm-hmm. Okay. The first thing I I heard about politics it was like the man is keeping us down, the government doesn't do shit, but we keep electing the same people over and over and over again. Right. Donald Trump was not the same person. <laughs> Donald Trump was like so, so out the wall person and like is that kind of guy you don't want to invite for the di- you know to your house for dinner. But when you look at it from the business point of view and like he's that mad genius kind of kind of guy. Like crazy like a fox. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Which is why it works with North Korea right now. Because they're both so fucking crazy. But it works, you know, they're like sizing up each other, right? Mm-hmm. You can't, Whenever they shake hands, they're like always You like, know, they're they're basically yeah, sizing up yeah. each other. And I mean, then they're, they're, they're like whenever like Donald Trump shakes hands, it's always like awkward. And right now, we're, like, you know, he pulls you in. Yeah, they're trying to strong arm each other. Like, you know, thing, right yeah. now we're waiting to see who's going to blink first. Yeah. We're hoping North Korea blinks first. Right. right. Well, I mean, is it even that now? Because, I mean, they're both going to the table. They've released prisoners. Like, well, that's, well, they're still sizing up right now. Right now, yeah. it's still yeah, it's sizing still, up. It's still, yeah, two yeah. little alpha males kind of sizing up. Until there's, you know, the ink on that paper. 
And they're going to be sizing up each other until that day. So going oh, back that, to Kanye, <laughs> because that was the topic. Back to Kanye. Well, I but, think we're done with Kanye. Well, I wanted to right? just ask uh, just the one last question about the Kanye topic was, uh, so it doesn't bother you because like what part of the other the other controversy is his his friendship, off, his friendship with Trump, Kanye's tr- uh, friendship with Trump about that was... I, I don't think he's people a are, bit... Okay, the people whole, are blowing that up on Twitter all the time. I don't... He's an Uncle Tom. I, I, I don't. <laughs> oh no! Friend of the show, yeah, friend of the show, Fame Entertainment. You guys know him as. I'm gonna bleep that out. Okay. Uh, yeah. A friend of the show, Fame, uh, tweeted out the, when I when when the Kanye shit blew up at the first. He he put out a tweet, and I put the image up on with screen the, with the with the hat. Uh, no, no, that's Kanye with the Make America Great oh, oh, Again, yeah, or he yeah. signed it, that's Kanye. I was thinking about Fame's tweet was uh, uh, it was a tweet of Dave Chappelle with the 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 racial. Uh, draft, mm. and he was like talking, and he said, "I would, we would, uh, the black delegation would like to trade uh, Kanye West for Eminem because <laughs> they don't but, want, they don't want to see. It's like they don't want to only it. want shitty but, people. Like as soon as Eminem turns into like the worst rapper in the history of the world, somehow with his last album, it's like, oh, now we want him. Like it's like black <laughs> culture is like, let's just take the most crappiest thing right now. If, and well, I feel like that's it in a nutshell yeah. right there. But, but anyways, anyways back to Kanye. I don't think he's really so much." A Trump supporter? He just likes Trump personally. No, no. I, well, he's he, 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 like, also, he, well, he also made a point, too. Before the election, people love Trump. They, you know, they put Trump in the videos. They put Trump in the music. They put Trump Eminem in Eminem even mo- did it, too. You know, they put Trump yeah. in movies, you know, yeah. right? And yeah. Everybody loved Trump. But not even, not even, but but even everybody, but black culture especially yeah. loved Trump. But yeah. when the narrative changed, <laughs> you know, you know, him be Republican. If Trump was a Democrat, man, I don't think we'll be having this conversation. <laughs> even though he basically <laughs> is. No. I mean. Uh, he's basically Bill Clinton right now. He's I mean, been, no, he's a no, little right of Bill Clinton in uh, his I, I policy, say, I but was, he's basically Bill Clinton. I don't want to say he's base. I think, well, I, heard, I think what happened with Democrats, like, like I used to be a Democrat, and people say, well, well, why are you a Republican now? I don't think my views changed. I think what happened with Democrats is that they moved way to the left. Yeah, that's what They moved way out there, and then people that were stuck, you know, right there in the middle, they're like, they need a place to go. And so the Republicans go, okay, we'll scoot over a little bit. You know? <laughs> they, they didn't completely, well, go, well, they didn't completely yeah. go over. They're yeah. just like, we'll scoot over yeah, just a little bit. The Republicans kind of opened gonna, up the tent we, a little. We're going to just pick up a couple of you that are like right in the middle, just a few of you. And then other you, you know, you, you're on your own. <laughs> you know you can be well you see know, Ronald Reagan said the yeah. same thing he, he was a Democrat in his time too but he's like I didn't leave the Democratic Party the Democratic Party left exactly me. Yeah. exactly so I mean I think and that's Trump why. was a Democrat up until like two years he, ago that's why I think he literally if you no, really I think, also, I, I think like he changed he has, like a little while before but yeah but it was semi recent yeah. at least and he's for the most he was friends with Hillary and them. He's from yeah. New York. He <laughs> runs everything like a big government Democrat for the most part. He's kind of doing re- more conservative things because he's in the Republican Party, I think. And some of it is business no, I oriented. Think, I think, I I think, thought, doesn't I think he, he like, is sure. more conservative now because he's he's using the business mentality. Well, well, it depends on what you mean by conservative. He's I think he's as socially conservative as he was before. There's certain, there's he's socially there's certain things he has to do because he's in the Republican Party. Right, yeah. the Second Amendment. To appeal right? to the base that he has. You know, he has to. But do I it. think, yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of. Ha- really he he doesn't about really give a damn about guns. Yeah, I mean, I I, and I, you can I see think that. he adapted Second, like, you know, the whole NRA thing mm-hmm. simply because he needed. The, well, I don't that even support. know if it, because people say he's a populist. I don't. I wouldn't say it's necessarily fair to say that he adopted it. It's just he's expressing the will of the people, and the will of the people, at least his base and the yeah. people that support him, is you know, don't tread on our Second Amendment. So I don't think it's like he's. But then also like I don't think he personally gives a damn about Second Amendment. No, but that's what a populist but, is. They just but, do what but, the populist yeah, exactly. Wants. But he understands why Second Amendment is important. I don't even know if he understands that. <laughs> no, I, no, I think he does. I think he understands because I think he understands he, why it's important to people. I don't he, know if he understands no, why it's important. He understands no. He understands why it's important because he understands why it's important for businesses to be. Uh, to have less regulation, right? Because he, you know, he ha- he has a business, right? And he understands that so much regulation is gonna slow you down, slow Stay him down, it, right? Make it hard for people to even. But get he in. also understands that it has to be reasonable regulation. 
there has to there has to be regardless of how much regulation you believe there should be that's a whole different topic but there has to be some sort of reasonable regulation. See, and that, I think I said that, this in wasn't, the Facebook comments. That like, just reasonable has is just one of those words that almost means Well, no, reason. Because uh, it's not really, it's, we're not re, you, we're using our reason. We're just going with whatever the, it kind of feel. It's not reasonable. No. It's feelable re regulation. It's like when they say common sense gun control. No one really knows what that means. They don't know what common sense means. In that. It's just like this feeling well, of a true, sense of a word. See, uh, and that's what, yeah. how people use reasonable. Like, yeah. you know, if you agree no. with me, then you're reasonable. That's what they mean usually. Like, reasonable yeah. regulation like, is what we, I think you, it is. Like, we can find a common ground. Right, you know, like Maybe. that. Well, no, reasonable, right? Yeah, yeah reasonable is that's like, what it should mean. But I don't think well, usually when they say it, they mean it no. how they, when they use the word common sense. It's a no, feel good. reasonable to them is whatever they agree with. It. Yeah, that's no, reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because most, if you agree with me, then you're reasonable. That's usually yeah. what they mean. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. But I will say, I'll just since it feels like we're wrapping up this topic, uh, you know, quote yeah. unquote, this topic, this yes. section. Uh huh. Uh, I appreciate, I don't necessarily agree with what Kanye does, thinks in any aspect per se, mm -hmm. but I super appreciate what he's doing for the culture. Just breaking the chains of people, what they can and can't think about or what they should and shouldn't consider. Like, I feel like he's a real mold breaker. Yeah. A real like, yeah. The, trailblazer. Yeah. It's like a Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Kanye West. Like <laughs> they're all bringing us up. I out. really wouldn't put him next to uh, Harriet Tubman, but I'm, and I'm saying like, obviously like how he was talking about mental prison. That's what he's no. doing. When you're at that position and people respect okay. you, it, it makes it easier to think different thoughts when they say it's okay. When the people well, in charge, Kanye, the I people at the top of the is, culture are in charge. To okay. Degree. Kanye wasn't the first person to, the reason we're talking about Kanye West is just how it's he said it. delivery. No, it's we're talking about Kanye no, West because he's going saying, against. You're no, not supposed no, to have the kind of not, power he has. No, because and there's, say the there's he's plenty of black people who said the same thing he at just said. At his level? Well, I wouldn't say at his level because they're See, that's afraid. what I'm saying. It's, the problem is he has too much power. And people well, say that. actually, you, you know what? Ice Cube. Ice Cube said the same thing. Open up your mind. He's oh, like, yeah. Oprah says that yeah, all yeah. the time. No, no, yeah, Oprah, Oprah says, yeah, open oh, up your mind and do yes. what the Democrats want. Ice Cube, like, <laughs> no, no, yeah. This, no, this, Ice Cube, Ice Cube say think for yourself. It's like, he does, because, but then he also, he, he advocates for, the, he says that, but then everything he personally believes is thinking like everybody, well, not everything. Well, it but doesn't matter what he personally believes. No, but believes. he does, though. No, he does People look because up he to can, people at the height of the no, culture that everyone see, respects. I think that's where we need to start separating uh, certain things. Yeah. You can advocate for, you know, open up your mind, do your research, you know, think for yourself. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, say, well, you know what? I'm still a Donald Trump supporter. Even though I'm going to be on this side of the aisle, you still should, you know, open your horizon it doesn't matter what what you know spectrum you're on you know as long as it's your own thought as long as it's your own ideas right i get or well, mm. i would say even your own so, ideas that usually are the problem you have to open yourself up to other ideas other perspectives well yeah i mean you, you can sit there and like okay i but get i, your own I get i, guess I get saying. where you're coming from but mm. here's my reason for this or whatever you can still believe whatever you want but then also preach, you know, think for yourself. Yeah. You know, so practice, 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 practice what you preach kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 no, 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 because no, you can think no. for yourself and come to these yeah. conclusions. Yeah. But the problem is people, they're designed by nature on average to look to whoever's running this, who's the most successful and blind imitation. Like, we're, we're at a point where we think that celebrities can only preach what they believe. Okay. I'm not sure. But we're, we're like... Celebrities should preach what they believe. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I guess. Or like sometimes they should just be and like, celebrities like, <laughs> get into the point of where they're going to preach what they believe and that their mentality is the only thing you should believe because you're their fan. <laughs> well, yeah, like, yeah, but right? I don't even think most celebrities aren't but dictatorial like that. It's just human well, no, nature. Of course, of course. It's when you admire course, someone, you want to start being of like course. that. That's... But I think when, whenever you're at a platform like Kanye West, mm -hmm. You should preach the thing like, you know, think for yourself. Who gives a damn what I think? Who gives a damn, you know, what my political spectrum is? Who gives a damn if I'm wearing Make America Great Again hat? You know, think for yourself. You agree with me, disagree with me, you know, whatever, think for yourself. But see, there's incentives not to do that. Because but if, a lot if, of people if feel I'm like... If I'm a Beyonce fan and she tells me, don't do what I do, just... 
think for yourself. Like, if you're a fan of me, that's cool. But you shouldn't think any of the same thoughts I do. That's not going to be very helpful when she's trying to sell CoverGirl or Maybelline. Oh, like, of she course wants not. You of to, course yeah, not. Of know? course. Which is where that, <laughs> the, which is where the hypocrisy comes, right? Yeah. Well, it's not even hypocrisy. <laughs> well, I think yeah, it's it like the, it's designed to like. People naturally, they look at people they admire and want to copy them. And you naturally admire people that are very successful. So you want to think like them. You want to do like them because you want to be as successful. It's built into your... Well, DNA. sure. You want to be as successful, but you don't want to be their sheep. You don't want to be their sheep, but... You, oh, follow, you shouldn't be their sheep. You shouldn't. Oh, I, I'm a lot of people's sheep. Yeah, when you're reasoning, I'm a lot of you shouldn't be their yeah. sheep. But in your heart of hearts, like your brain, evolution like, has designed you to mimic people that are successful so you will also be successful. It's built into your DNA. Now, some okay. people have variations on that, but for the most part, 80% of people, they look at whoever's doing really good and like, let me do what they're doing. Because that's usually, if LeBron is uh, okay. uh, working out seven times a week, or something, then I need to be working seven times a week if I want to be as successful. Like it's well, like when The see. Rock puts his Instagram photos of him working out, I was like, and his diet, oh my God, I want to be like The Rock. Yeah, like if you want to, you just start you blindly to like I want to yeah. be like The Rock. Yeah. you want to be like The Rock? It's like I've seen his diet, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh my God, damn. Yeah, but see, it's in the uh, DNA to blindly you, copy You pay attention to his biceps very yeah. well. Oh yeah, most definitely. God damn. I dream about it every night. No, um... That's right. You know, it's really weird. As you, as you say it, like, I'm thinking about all those times, like, ah, oh, damn, I'm very sheepish. But see, it's not necessarily well, I mean, a problem because not... your instinct is to copy people that are successful. It's a good instinct because people that in history that have copied people that are successful became more successful. successful. Yeah. But see, you have to kind of, in this day and age, you have to kind of start, you have to do the harder work instead of blind copying. You have to start separating. Selectively. This is what's making them successful in this arena. But this is the stuff that's not be it's just incidental. Yeah. But it's hard to tell. That's why blind copying has been built into evolution, because it's hard to tell exactly what someone's doing when they're successful. If you copy everything they're doing, you're gonna do be as successful as them because you're doing everything that they're doing. Like when successful people write books about how to be successful. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> for the most part. But see, if they tell you everything and you do the whole book, then you'll be pretty much at their level. No, you won't. No, because but they <laughs> no. don't write everything. That's the, not, they don't write everything though. Exactly. And people don't execute so you'll all why is it, why is it that they want to they want to say uh, uh, I'm going to teach you everything you know but I'm not going to teach you everything I know because why? there's an instinct to and it's in there but why it's because there. you don't want them to be successful as you no well, you don't want competition Right, you you want to be the guy at the top. Yeah, you don't want to be s someone next to you. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> people at the top. No, you don't. Know, yeah. Because that guy next to you eventually is gonna be like, oh you. shit. Yeah, he's gonna I can be his boss. Well, it depends. And because there's an ethic that can override yeah. that tendency. That because the tendency is you. Everybody wants to get to the top. That's a human universal. But yeah. then when you get to the top, um, historically the tendency is to hold on to power, which is why I'm generally against power and the all that stuff. Well, so that's it, fine. All yeah. Kind of yeah. Like as soon yeah. as I become like the head of a committee, I'm like, oh, it gets to my head. Yeah, right. I need to lock it down so I yeah. stay head of the committee. Which is yeah. why we need regulation to no. control <laughs> the power. <laughs> no, but see, no, but see, that's, you can't control that. There's yes, no regulation to control people's you, avarice and greed like that because people no, you will can, become. But as and the masses, you can. No, but see, in the masses, you don't need to. You just need them because America was designed to just have these things counteract each other. To balance Checks and it balances. Out. Got yes. it. Self checks yeah. and balances. Regulation. No, but see, the regulation. Checks and balance. No, that's what they are. No. Look, whether it's like business regulation or. Okay, laws are regulations too. They're, they're just they're, laws. Yeah, they're just saying. Yeah. But they're civil regulation yeah. for us to coexist with each other right but there's still regulation right mm -hmm. we, yeah. we would not be where we at today without certain most of those laws i would disagree because we you know, were here before the laws were here well no as a human civilization yeah, yeah. we would still be no, but here see, that's the, but, the we're laws, here. The, but we're still gonna the be in the stone laws, ages they're already in us we, we, we're already practicing them for a large degree when you verbalize something like how i said earlier it's the last part of the process we've already been following the laws before yeah, but we without, even knew the laws yeah but without those laws there's we have there, to have there, there we need to have not, something etched into so that way whenever you're in you're in violation of it you can we can I agree yeah, but the violations that, need to be very specific and few and far between because the the rules they need to be okay that's fine the that's bare all, minimum so that, you can have a functioning society but they can't be so claustrophobic that it holds you in stasis or you can't move uh, are you claustrophobic no. I mean, I mean, you need to go invent something. Go for it. No, I mean. I'm not. No, I'm saying because <laughs> but, if I mean, you put too much on a something, it kills it. Like exercise is good. Okay. But if you put a ten thousand pounds on someone, they're gonna get crushed and die. 
Okay, so but, some amount of weight is okay. Okay, but do you feel like you're being crushed with all this rules and regulations? I feel society is being crushed from the rules and regulations. Really? Yeah. Because like, you so only, you took you 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 have the general consensus from everybody, right? No, I no, it's not a general okay, so consensus from everybody because some people the it's, general it's, consensus it's, from your own thought. No, because people there are different types of people. The great lie in society today is that we're all the same. We're not. There are people no, that not. generally we're like but to I have a little more authority. But when I them. look at other countries mm-hmm. and I look at U.S. I would rather be here and yeah, day of day. But what made you left Russia? Russia. Yeah, that's I, you left. Well, that's not why I left Russia. I was adopted. Uh, but <laughs> I don't think I had... Nobody uh, likes Soviet Russia. You know, I don't think 90s. I had, uh, you know, an option to leave <laughs> Russia or to stay. I'm just you kidding. took the option. But, <laughs> but if I did have the option and I was given the view of America and the view of Russia... I would have left in a heartbeat. I know, but what (laughs) made America that desirable? It's not the rules and regulations we have now. It's in spite of that. We have an ethic underneath that's pro-freedom. No, I think America is what it is today because of those rules. No, because a lot of these rules have only been here in the last hundred years or less. Okay, that's fine. But because we're adapted, right? No, but not all adaptions (laughs) are good. There's maladaptions. (laughs) Okay. uh, uh, Okay. Okay, we're arguing semantics again. No, no, I'm saying, no, because what you're saying is we have all based on these changes, but I'm saying not all changes are good. And you're course, assuming the changes I'm, I'm are good s- just because no, they exist. I, I believe changes are good, but I'm not, I'm not going to be that naive and say every change is good. But see, when you're, what you're saying right there is you think this country is so great based today, based just, on everything that's come before it. Yes. But I'm saying yes. it's based on the foundation and I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a underneath. shitty, sh- shitty crap happened b- before today. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We went, we done but some, for the most part, we done everything some that shitty happened... shit to get to the point we are today. Yeah. But what country hasn't? I mean, you look at, you know, history of every country in the world, they all went through the same thing. It might have happened differently. Almost every country has slaves. Civil yeah. war. All countries have civil wars. Yeah. All countries face poverty and you know slaughter yeah, America and, well I wouldn't say the only one but the West in general they have the kind of ethic that makes them succeed more than a lot of other places yeah because we started to regulate ourselves no, <laughs> that's no what you know yes. you know really what it is is that we unregulated ourselves when no, America was founded everyone thought America was crazy because they, no one could imagine a world where someone wasn't running the show yes which is what regulation and then, is. And they want everyone's like you can't not have a king okay, okay? every democracy well, has ended in no, blood that's that's fine but when we were unhinged and you know I mean like when we were founded whatever right yeah you know there's a little period in time and U.S. history called the Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah. You know, lawlessness, right? Yeah, but see, I'm not so, against laws, though. But it's only the basic ones. But, and even the Wild but, Wild West, but, people follow the natural the, the natural law, the laws that we all just kind of no, follow. No, it, it yeah. was the natural law of your own law. No, there is a... No, okay. In the state yes. of... Your pistols are, is the law. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in the state of anarchy, there is the... the whoever has the most power runs the show. Exactly. Which is why we had kings and queens for so long. But, today, but natural law is a, underneath... Today, to a degree. we have laws that regulate, not so much, we have laws where the entire society, no matter our differences, or we can coexist. No, but see, we have lots of ones where it's, it's actively yeah, we against We would it. not be able to coexist together if we didn't have certain type of No, and I agree with that. Like, I really want to be clear that I'm not talking for about no laws. Like, there's basically, like maybe 10, 20, 100 laws that we need. Right now we have like a million or tens of millions yeah, of but, laws and codes all in the book. That's way too many. a lot of those laws are add-ons yeah. because people fuck up. Like no, but Lewis see, not said, every like fuck Lewis, up needs to be addressed no, like by a Lewis, law. Like Lewis said, people fuck up. Yeah. Okay, you know those little tags you see on, you know, I, you know, stuff you buy at a store, you know, do not swallow this? Well, that had to... Be made into a regulation because some idiot. No, but see, that's the thing. It. A lot of times it doesn't have to be like the company will just put it on. Like the Tide Pod thing, there was no regulation. There was an uproar. <laughs> well, people no. were like, kids are eating well, it. Of and course. then they put, don't swallow on here. The people of course. Put out this child seal in But there, there is uh, a regulation so. saying that companies need to be reasonably responsible no, but see, for you, certain things. There is no regulation that says that. There's <laughs> regulations that are trying to do that. 
with all these very specific rules. But customers by themselves, the employees, the customers, the owners, a combination of them all fighting with each other to get what they want the most will spontaneously bring the order of they'll do what's best for the company in the long run. In a capitalist society, that's what's best for the consumer in the long run. Well, like, see, and not even capital. I don't okay. even want to say capitalism. But why, a free is it, why is it that when I, when I think of a capitalist society, why is it that because you're thinking of the meme of a capitalist? Society. Why is it that I think that a company will only do what benefits the company? They will, and not the consumer. No, because in they a free will. society, okay, which is why we need regulation. <laughs> Look, if you have money and I want it, in any other society, I just put a gun to your head and tell you to give me the goddamn money. Okay, All but right. in a free society, which is why I don't think you offer goods and services. Real, no, yeah. not even that. I have to convince you. I have to appeal to you to give me your money. Okay? okay, I have to make the offer so good that you're willingly parting with your money. That's a different paradigm than give me your goddamn money. Okay, okay? and that's the difference that you're not seeing because it works out over time. It's a million, a hundred million people in America doing a thousand little transactions just like that. Should. Is this worth my money? Now, not everyone is consciously making that decision, but they're doing it on lower levels. Like, is this more valuable than the money I have in my hand? If yes, you get it. If no, no. And then they consider okay, okay. lots of things. Okay. Well, we're not arguing against that. Yeah. Well, I mean, we understand that. The argument is like, like the, should governments, I mean, should there be, should companies be regulated? And I would say they don't yeah, need to be regulated beyond like very specific instances, like the okay, like, tragedy, like don't pollute. If it's like tragedy, of, even the don't pollute thing, like don't like like let me if I'm a fucking nuclear power plant and I want to fucking you know dump my nuclear waste into the soil, that's a tragedy of the commons thing because they don't own the soil. See, that's why I said there are specific circumstances. No, hold on, hold on. You tell me that those power plant companies will regulate themselves no, eventually? No, I, I just said in a tragedy of... There are specific situations where government is supposed to do something. I'm not... I need to be clear one more time. I am not advocating for anarchy, which it sounds like y'all think I you, am because I can't... You kind of are I'm not in against way. all regulation. No, no, no. What, I'm for the well, very specific okay, purpose of government. you're not pure anarchy, but it's pretty like... No, like, okay, what, like what, I, what I was going to say, what it, what, it, what it does, even with last week's episode and this week, it feels like... It feels like scaling back even... Even, even, a, a, even a little bit of an inch, well, it, it's going to turn into anarchy. It will... Except for we were, at, there are law, regulations on the book that weren't here ten years ago, and the country didn't go to crap until that regulation came into being. There are not true, that's like, the same thing. So we neutrality. were living without net lots neutrality. of this stuff. No, true. Yeah, like, like, I I don't see the big deal about net, net, well, the net neutrality. neutrality. I can see it, I'm and not, I can't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. I, I get it. You know, being on the level and feel whatever gives it. But also, I be, I believe that that's one of the regulations that we don't need. And I would agree with you. But I would say there's a lot more. Like, like no, the we don't. Ones. Because before net neutrality, we were we were fine. I mean, we were fine. Uh, everything was progressing. You know, you know, you know. We don't have fiber internet today because of net neutrality. <laughs> we have fiber internet today because. The uh, you know advancement in technology or the natural competition, also right. the natural competition between them. And net neutrality is just that regulation that actually I believe hindered, you know, certain companies from progressing. Interesting. Or mm-hmm. certain companies shine, you know, because you know, let's say you have you know two internet providers, right? Okay. And they want to say, well, you know what? We want to speed up the speed of Netflix, and then well, we're gonna speed up the speed of YouTube. Okay. The prog- you have the market will, you know, ad- adjust to whatever it suits them, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and that company will be able to, you know, progress. The more money that comes in, the, you know, the more investment they'll be able to fulfill, or you know, discover. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But if everybody's on the same level and field, there's no room for, um, when, well, every, the internet, internet providers will be like a monopoly in whatever area, right? Yes. So, because you know all the internet providers are going to be the same speed no matter what. No matter what website you go to, no matter, you know, what you're doing on online or whatever, they all have to abide by the same rules. Level. Right. So you're not going to pick and choose, you know, what provider you're going to. You have less options. 
to you, a certain well, degree. Or less master, diversity. Even if there was, you know, 10 internet providers. But they'd for, all be providing say, the you, same thing, though. So exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, the weaker companies will die out because they have nothing to hold up. You know, hold you over. And see, that's my basic yeah. for the regulation thing. It's not but for see, no rules. See, for that, that's where I, I'm I like limited regulation. Li, you see, know, and that's where I'm limited at too. regulation. Yes, but there has to be. We have to have certain. We have to. Yeah, I mean, and, just okay. simple as that. We 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 just do. I, look, I'm and see, that's the thing. I'm where you're at. Basically, it's just I can see further but, down the line but, but so that you, we need even but, less. Exactly. Not to zero. Not to zero. I need to be 100 percent clear about not zero. Okay, not zero, but maybe five. Maybe ten. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look. Okay. Give, I'll give you three I, rules. I'm okay look, with, if we were know. if we were to wash away everything, I can give you three rules that are basically work for almost every situation. That for everything. Don't hit. Don't lie. Don't steal. Bam. That's all the rules you basically need. That covers like ninety nine percent of all problems in society, and it's something you can teach every single person this quickly. I can remember three things. But uh, that's the thing. I can't remember a million page tax code. Okay. I can't remember okay. fifty different little. I get that. Okay. And I, I want to say that's important too because police, they can arrest you when you don't know the law and they can screw with you in ways because you don't know the law. Like people that have the most money are always the most advantage in a system where there's a billion laws because they have all the lawyers, they know all the rules, but you don't. So you never know when you're doing something right or wrong and you're at the mercy of everybody else because of your own ignorance. And people true, don't have the time true. to learn the legal code. Like that's true. wasting people's brain power if every single person but, in society needs but that. But the argument to that with me is that you have the option to learn those laws. Okay. But right? I'm, yeah, you have the option to. But you, do you, you want, is do, that a good use of people's time in a free society? It, it, it doesn't and matter. It, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't does. matter if you, you believe it's a good use of your time or not. You still have that option. Ignorance is not, their, a, not a yeah. defense. Exactly. But see, that's the problem. Ignorance of the law is I not agree. a defense. I agree. Ignorance of the law is not a defense. But if there's less laws, there's less to be ignorant about. Because, no, I'm not saying that we don't need rules. Again, I need to very emphasize that. But the more <laughs> rules you have, the easier it is for people to skirt around and screw people up in different forms of corruption because when if a police officer pulls you over most people do not want to learn the whole thing and i feel like they don't need to be spending years in school just learning the legal code so they can avoid all these little things like oh i thought i was going to sell my neighbor uh some blueberry pie because she really liked my blueberry pie but i didn't have the license for this like okay there, there. there just no law for sale yes, that's it. there is for in the Facebook page, you can't for even sell blueberry today pie. in most cities in the U.S. You can't even sell lemonade as a kid. If you're a five year old making lemonade, it's that's illegal. Right. Okay, that's the regulation nope. we don't need. No, but see, that's okay. not that's okay not because even that. Juan jumped on the Facebook said <laughs> like you can take control about anything. Like he was, it sounded like he was making the point. This is a good regulation. Well, also for him, it was reasonable, and I can even make the case. You are going to serve people food without regulating what they put into it. They could be using if bad you are practices. If blah, you blah, are blah, a blah, restaurant, blah, blah. I think where people like you know regulating the Girl Scouts or whatever, or you know some kid in the Girl his Scouts yard. do sell tens of millions of well, cookies. Well, no, <laughs> so. well, I'm just talking about the little girl. I'm not talking about the company. <laughs> okay, okay, I was speaking for the little girl. Okay, okay, you leave the girl alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For that girl, I understand. Let her sell her goddamn lemonade. Let her sell her damn cookies. Okay? She doesn't need to be regulated. Okay? I I don't see that little girl pouring fucking rat poison in my cookies. But why would you see you me know? pouring rat poison? Okay, so the little girl selling cookies and I'm selling cookies. You're just going to assume I'm putting rat poison in it, but the little girl's not? But that little girl is not doing it to start a business. You don't, they literally, you might. no, little girls, like the Girl Scout ones, they do make bank off of it. Well, well they make no, their own little, they whatever, don't. but the they're, lemonade ones, the entrepreneurial ones, well, like I was true. saying, like, but they're, I was, not, they're not going to keep selling the lemonade on their stand for 30 years. No, but see, no, but okay. But see, that's it's the point. A, that's the point. Okay. So if I'm as a society, we, 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 no, because we, she's going to grow up, right? So she, well, can, yeah. she could start off, but with she's not going to keep selling that lemonade. No, she could franchise. She can open another. Well, sure. But, but. Once she actually starts a business. No, wait, when does she yes. start a business? Because see, that's the thing. In a free society, when? business is, it's useful to make this category for certain things, but it's not a real thing. There is no, in a free society, anything I do with him is business. Okay. If I like, Hey, would you come help me out? We're, this is the business. Hey, I'm, I'm moving. Yeah. Would I'm you come help me out? Up. Yeah. Just for friends. That's a business. Not a business in the traditional sense, but this is the business between us. But now if he wants to say, I'll help you, but you have to give me. 
uh, a, a candy bar, a couple of dollars. Then man, you don't work for a candy bar, Lewis? I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> I've worked for I've worked for water before. Yeah. Okay, it's whatever you. he wants to do. Between us, there's no reason the government should get involved in any business that we're doing, as long as I'm not actively hurting him or stealing from him. If I'm not hitting, lying, or stealing from him, right? There's no reason the government should be involved in any transaction between me and him. The problem that I, people have is like they suddenly, when it gets too big, they start getting scared, I think, and it starts corrupting their reason. Because you're okay with the little girl, but well, you're not okay with the corporation because you think no, the corporation I'm not, has because this No, because corporation doesn't necessarily but the corporation is made of a face. bunch of girls and boys. But the corporation isn't dealing transaction face to face with you. Why is that? Is that guy? You know, let's say I'm the CEO, president, or whatever. I'm never going to meet my, most of my consumers. Huh? Yeah. Uh, you would never meet most of your exactly. customers. Exactly, you're not. No, you're gonna, but you're dependent you, on them. Their goodwill. They're yeah, willing to exchange with you. But your number one goal, which is back to my original idea, like an hour ago, <laughs> <laughs> is that your number one thing you're going to be doing in the corporation is money. What does the little you girl do when she's selling lemonade? Money. Yeah, but that girl is not making million dollars. No, but see, what? See, that's the thing. <laughs> when things get too big, people start getting unreasonable. True. What ha What changes from when she's making, let's say, a hundred dollars at her lemonade stand, between when she's making ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand? Where is the line, and what's changing? This is the same question I asked to Juan, but I, 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 it, has to, to get it has to be, de it depends on the circumstances. See, that's the yeah, whims of the king. It's just whatever. It's a but feeling. I, I don't see, I think, like, don't get me wrong. There are some cities or, you know, towns or whatever who say, yeah, that little girl needs a permit. They're retarded. Yeah, but see, they're not looking at her I, specifically. I, I, I they think, just saw I one think, instance of someone selling food, yeah. and they felt like, well, you know, we can't have people selling food if we're not making sure they're doing all the sanitation, taking the health code, and yeah, all, all the health code stuff. stuff. And what happened is the little girl, just like in all these regulations, she got swept in because technically she was breaking the law. She was serving food without following the proper codes or without being certified by the government. And see, oh, that's the thing. All these regulations, yeah. every time the bigger the government and it gets worse and worse, but pretty much at any level, when you make a law, you're always hitting a bunch of people that don't know it until they don't know it. So when you make a law like that, it feels yeah, but if good. Okay. Right? Like when you sell it well, to someone, I'm going to make your food safer. I'm going to make sure that any place you eat at in this city, in this okay. state, in this country, it's going to be safe. Okay. Doesn't that well, feel like something you would vote for? Okay. First of all, like when you open up a business, your business is going to be food. Okay. There she, you know, odds are you're going to be a lot older than a 10 year old girl. Maybe. What do you mean, man? How many, no, because how many restaurants do you know no, where see, they're operated by children? children by a 10 year old no, it girl. It depends on what you mean by restaurant because there's people operating well, street I'm cars. Talking about, right? They're talking about like pickup locations. Really? You see, you seen a street car with a 10 year old girl selling I've your hot dogs? I've seen a 15 year old girl. I don't know if that's a big difference, but walking around selling not hot dogs, but uh, that, what do you call it? Politera? What you call it? No, the ice creams. Ice cream? The yeah. ice creams. Yeah, I've seen fifteen-year-olds. I've seen okay. twelve-year-olds, and I've okay. seen adults. But are they working for their family business, or are they doing it all on their What's own? What's the difference? That's a big difference. Which is. Pretty sure it is a big. No, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> see, we, you have all these feelings that you got from the culture. No. The culture today is so well, corrupted. Well, it's giving you a lot of bad. Tony, things. Tony, what's I can't we have to I adjust to that culture. I no, still, I can, still, no, no because then, okay, the, the problem with adjusting to the culture just you, because you, you, you there's wanna, a lot of cultures uh, that do a lot of crappy things that we wouldn't say people should adjust okay, to. You, you want to question like literally everything. No, I want to, like, no, literally, saying, you want to question why that guy picked up that pen and wrote those fucking rules on that piece of paper. You literally want to question Every, why he chose. I want everything open to You want to know and why like he the wrote that little A agree. in that way and not the other way. Yes. You want to question why he used that specific, that pen specifically. Why that paper specifically. I mean, nobody, if it's nobody relevant, gives a damn. If it's relevant, no, it's not. Okay, that's you know, not relevant. It's but that's not, not relevant. relevant to this. The paper Man. and stuff is not. But the questioning of you, motives and stuff that can be helpful. The people, like the founder I, of this country, the reason the First Amendment exists is so people can actively question everything. That's the basis who, who, of the First who Amendment. Who was your brother that Juan? Well, Carlo, which one? The one. The one in the Facebook army? thing was Juan. Well, Juan. They're both. They're both in the army, but Juan most currently. Currently, yeah. Juan? Yeah. Okay, no, I think the other one. Carlos? Carlo? Carlo, what about him? Is that the one that one asked you? No, uh, everything in Facebook was one. Everything no, 
Was it Juan? Oh, yeah. the one that the one that Carlo asked the question. Uh, 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 should, like, should, 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 be, be, should even be questioned. Uh, yeah. Should your idea be protected? Oh, Juan, that was Juan. That was Juan. Yeah. Okay, just like what he said, you're arguing semantics, and like this I, is, but this is like, semantics. Like I, no, I'm you, asking you what are, changed. You, you kind you're, of are. You, I mean, you, you're you using two words. Track back you're to using everything. corporation for like here. If I'm doing business with him, at what amount of sales do I become a corporation? If you can't tell me that, these are semantics that matter. If you can't tell me, okay, I'm dealing with Louis. Okay, I'm doing a transaction. I hire someone. Do I suddenly become a business then? Okay, so what are you, you are that? you asking my like opinion? What do I consider no, a business? I'm, I'm, or are you asking what the government considers as business? Because that's two different things. No, because the government is working off the same reasoning you do. It's not very no, concrete. it's not. Yeah, no, because look, yeah, they're they're, making, they're working off a consensus of general public the populace, populace yeah. of uh, what everyone basically agrees to yes right? no but see just because people agree to it doesn't make it right is what i'm saying I, i'm not saying it's right i'm saying it's what it, populist is the agreement i mean we by being in this country by being whatever city we choose to live in whatever we agree to abide by the rule of and that means, community yeah okay I whether you know that. whether you know those rules or not whether you studied them all, or whether you went to you know law school, or you you were, you know read the handbook, yeah, yeah whatever. You in some way somehow you agree to abide by those rules. Yeah, but see the problem with at now least you want to question like going... it. You want to question, it, hey, go for it. But when you literally start questioning, like why that senator chose to write it with that piece of pen. No, you but know, see, that's not what I'm talking about. I was never talking way, about that. No, the one that I was talking about, way, the intellectual what, property but, one. But what you're basically about, tracking it back, you know, down to the core. Yeah, because you have to work from the core. Because, okay, human. Okay, the best thing that humans have come up with is reason. And reason is about logical consistency to a large degree. Okay. If you can't if track it back down that. to the core, yeah, if it doesn't track, then there's a problem. Because then it's basically the same whims as a king, except for now we have a disguise in democracy and regulation. Well, and I mean, even uh, a, I okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I just want to throw this out there. <laughs> even a Supreme Court, I, said, I think I want to say Supreme Court justice, I said this. about. about and I want to make sure that we're pointing out this is an argument from authority, which is already a fallacy, but... Okay. Don't listen to him. No, well, look, <laughs> the idea, the idea <laughs> could be good on its own merit. But Lewis, but, what he's trying to do is, from this highly respected authority that you should consider uh, everything right. he says but, like, as right. Like, but even he, even he sure. said, okay, even he said in so many words about about the arguing argument of feelings. You know what I mean? Like you were talking about, like, well, at, w at what point does a thousand dollars, a hundred dollars, ten thousand yeah. dollars, at what point are my corporation? Well. You can't, maybe I, Amisha, or any, or maybe I can't tell you what that, what, when it becomes or what changes. But you know what? Like, even that person, that judge ruled, said, he's like, you know, I can't tell you what's pornographic and what's not, but I can, I know it when I see it. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. That was even probably a bad thing, too. Because if you, <laughs> what no, the? no, because, okay, no, and see, remember how I was, it was bad and it was good. Because remember how I said we were living by the laws before we even wrote it? Yeah. That's the thing. We haven't figured out the language to differentiate between pornography and art. If you can know it when you see it, he knows it on some level. We all know it on some mm -hmm. level. We just haven't evolved enough to be able to verbalize it. So you want the rules of regulation regulation to be precise? No, like I want specific. It's not that I like, want them to be. I want like them to that be little few girl and limited because no, every rule no, no, is a restriction up. on my freedom. Like that little girl, she can sell her lemonade, but a moment she reaches seventy six dollars and fifty three cents, no, she's what, a company. The reason now. why that I brought <laughs> the reason that I brought it up is it doesn't hold any logical consistency. It's very arbitrary, and it's for no reason in a society whose basis is the individual should be sovereign and should be free to pursue his values, his goals to the utmost. That doesn't mean I can come kill him because my values say that. That's one of the utmost. That's the limit. Another limit is I can't steal his property and I can't lie to him. Yeah, my, but, my but, but, but whose specific. limit is My it? rights begin where yours begin or something like yeah. that. But where does it begin or where, where does it stop? The, there. I, my rights is but, my face is it to you? his face. But is that where it begins to you or is that like everybody? Because what if I, for me, you know, if I'm self-regulating myself, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, I'm gonna take see, your shit. I don't. I, yeah. So th that's one of the few laws that exists that we all—it's built in, 
to the system at the low level, but we've expressed. I'm not saying there shouldn't be no laws, but they should be few and far between. Like you should, if you feel like you should be able to kill somebody, we figured out across history reasoning and so many other things that your freedoms have to end where his does because if they don't then his freedoms will trump yours if he's more powerful it's a power game at that point if his freedoms go unlimited it's the most powerful that wins but we've all decided through history that yielding to power for power's sake is not a good thing yielding to power for good sake is a good thing but what constitutes a good or an evil then? That's something we have to work out as individuals and come see, together that, as a culture but see, to figure out. And a lot of these things we still have answers to, we but do. you need the freedom but to figure it out. But until we do. No, 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 no. Because no. see, here's where you go. Until we do, you just follow what I say is good. No, I'm not saying you should follow us. I'm saying... We all have to do I, what you say is good. Not me as a society. But see, what if society hasn't figured it out, then someone is but making the decision. apparently we have. Because no, we, we have these out rules. some things. We, we no, have these no, rules no, see, that's in the place. When we, the basic rules, we, fig- we all agree agreed to it was the most evident they were pretty much self the ten commandments kind of yeah, thing yeah okay. like it's so easy no one i mean you can i mean we all agree that baby should be in car seats right i agree do you believe a baby should be in car seat i believe a baby uh, the baby well that's hard because the baby no it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Hold that on. hard so i believe the baby should be in car seats <laughs> see By no the way, no because uh, there's different levels do i believe no, that not. you should no. do i believe that you do should you lust be- after women what do I believe that you should lust after women? Is there a rule against it? Should there be? Because I believe you shouldn't, and I bet a lot of people believe that you shouldn't lust after women. If there was a way to enforce that, do you think that we should all pass that rule, that law? I would say no, because you, you should lust be... after women. Yes, yeah, to lust after a woman. Because I, okay. those are. Okay, I'm... what do you mean by that? Because a lot of people believe that you should not lust after a woman, which is mean basically look at them in a sexual way. <laughs> and not even necessarily that it's their fault. They believe you shouldn't do a period because it's wrong. Like even having the idea in your head, even if it affects nobody else. Is so bad. you believe that looking at, at a woman, well, this goes both ways. A woman looking at a guy, less than over a guy. You believe those that, doomy eyes. You, yeah. you believe that they, that shouldn't happen. Uh, the reason why I brought it up. Are you like, single? Ish. Okay, but, that's why you believe that. <laughs> no, no, but look, no, because not every belief should be instantiated into law. Some things can be regulated on the cultural level. Some things need to be in, regulated on the individual level. That's what I'm getting at. We've pushed a lot of things out of the culture into this last level where things should be very clear. So and a guy who doesn't believe that, and I do, believe a lot of things should be regulated. I, who you don't believe a lot of things should be regulated. No, I believe but things should be regulated, regulate. but we still need to figure a lot of it out. I, so, I, but, I believe we're ignorant as people, and we, we've made so many laws that belie our ignorance. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this right. <laughs> you, and for the baby you, thing, you, I do believe it. I had to make sure that everything worked out. The baby oh, really? can't... You the baby, to if it's a checklist? Ba- no, I have to make sure... Yes, I want to be logically consistent. I don't just want to make rules on a whim. I don't want to fall into the same trap that I'm trying to fight against. So what it shouldn't check- be emotionally okay, based. What's on your checklist to make sure... Okay, this is first. I was like, okay, well, the baby doesn't have consent. So the a baby is basically the property of its parent. But it's a special class of property because it has the potential to become a fully developed human being to exercise its own free will. So I had to, okay, I had to work through each logical step and see if I could justify it in a cohesive worldview. Because if you start making exceptions to the okay, rule. Okay, so what about abortion? Abortion, that's one of those 5149 things. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Because so, there's, so, a, there's a conflict of two values. Checklist, there's a your conf- checklist. Yeah, in my checklist, there's a conflict of two values. What the mom wants, what the baby wants. Well, not even that. The, well, the baby right doesn't to, want anything. No, the baby has a right to life. If it's yes, a, but life. it doesn't want but, life because it doesn't know what it no, wants. No, but you have a right to life, whether you well, want yeah, it or yeah, not. Well, yeah, yeah, you have a right to life, yeah. but you don't know if you want life. Okay. As, but, a, uh, as an infant. But, but as an infant, don't we also babies. Don't I'm against abortion. No, you're wrong. Well, with your logic. With my logic, it's a conflict of values. The, the two values that are in conflict are there's the rights of the woman to her own body, her own property. That's her body. And there's the rights of the baby to its body and its property. It has a right to life, maybe, depending on when we define life, how we should define life. There is a question that... Does, does, it, does it matter? Does it matter Immediately when we define it life? becomes a zygote. Does it matter when... It, I don't know. Would you be because okay right with now, it? Because right now they consist what? 20 some weeks, right? Yeah, 20 oh, wow. weeks. 20? But the Democratic Party platform is abortion up until birth. So in labor, you so can I have mean, an abortion. Okay. And that's the, Republic, the platform. That's, Repu- that's the platform. As I yeah, understand yeah. I could be wrong. And the Republican platform is that Pro-life. the moment it's conceived, yeah. it 
It's life. Yeah. And for me, it's 5149 in the pro-life position just because the way that I think about it is. So how would you regulate that then? Regulate what? The abortion? Ab- abortion. I mean, if you believe it's 4951, I mean. 5149. But see, that's the thing. I don't believe I should make a. If we can't figure it out. With the problem with if you're making just a rule when laws but are, in values a free, are in a society that we live in, okay, we don't live in a society where you you do whatever the fuck you want. We did. Yeah, and a lot of people died, and we became the greatest country on earth. So I mean, you can be one of the weakest the countries reason, on earth, and, all and the your reason live, I don't know. the reason we were the greatest country on earth is because we were pretty lawless, and we're like, huh? No, the, the, no, because lots shit, of countries had shit, laws. You know, we weren't the shit. only country to ever come up with laws. There were countries <laughs> that lived long before us, and yeah, probably but long after that had laws. That can't be what made us special. Russia had laws. The UK had laws. The places we, well, it wasn't UK then. The British Empire, they all had laws. Laws isn't what. It's the very specific types of laws that we had. It was the underlying ethic that we had. Okay, and because of those laws, we are the greatest country. Yeah, on those Earth. limited laws, and now we're less great. How we're we, more how, limited? How are we less great? We're still the greatest, but we're less great than what are our, we? Yes. Really? Yeah. How? Because we're not following the values that we set up that made this country so great. It was limited government. It was maximum freedom for the individual so that they could pursue their own interests. Okay, can you pursue your own interests right now? Not to the maximum. No. Well, what hinders you from pursuing your interests? I don't know. Taxes, regulations, really? licenses. Yeah. yeah, if I want to op- if I want to serve people food, I how, need a how license. How does taxes uh, prohibit you from you fulfilling your potential? I have less money. But does that prohibit you from... To the maximum, you, yes. It's, to the maximum, it's really? To the maximum. I don't think it does. Yes, because if I no, if, if I think I have, it has to do with your mentality. If I have a hundred, if you really want to, let's say you want to be an astronaut, right? Mm-hmm. You really want to be an astronaut. You're not gonna let some taxes or whatever I agree. hinder you from becoming an I astronaut. I agree, but we're not talking about the extraordinary case. Every person should be able to do to their but maximum. You're, but what they're, you're they're, saying is that our laws prohibit you from. Yes. Becoming, no, no it I doesn't. No, I'm saying our it laws, to, they are limiting do, my freedom. It has to do with your will. Certain, no, it this has is to literally what I'm will. saying. There are limits to freedom that make sense. And every country has to do their own version. What I like about this country, out of all the countries on the earth, at least in principle, at least when it was founded, was the least limiting to human freedom than any country on the face of the earth. Over time... We have become less and less free as individuals as we've are gained we? more and more laws. Yeah. Are, you I mean, don't realize yeah, it because yeah, you weren't I mean, alive in 1795. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can go and, and kill lots, anybody. No, that was one of the I laws mean, we made. It, yeah. So that I mean, wasn't one of the I'm, I'm not, talking about. I mean, I'm not that free. Yeah. I can't go drive a car down the road and hit anybody I want. I know. And, and that's know, not, not a freedom that I'm free, advocating for. But I don't believe... I'm still free to make a Tesla competitor. Even exactly. with all the red tape, I will break through if I really want exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. You're being limited in your freedom. Is you have how? To those rules. He's not able to make... If he wants to make a but Tesla competitor... Reasonable... If he wants to make a Tesla competitor without seatbelts, he is not allowed to do that. That's of a limit on not. his freedom. Because... Why, why the hell would I want to? <laughs> there are people that want to take the risk, but they just don't have the extra $100. Who the hell wants to take that I risk? Know. I don't know, but whoever wants to should be able to. That's really? my point. Yes. No, that is extreme. That, that that's is, not extreme. That, that is extreme. extreme. I feel, no, that, okay. That's, here's that's, this is where you have to go back to the bottom. Freedom no. is inherently a risky proposition. That's why historically no one ever pursued it. People prefer. Do we have another topic? <laughs> I only have one more topic left, by the way. Uh, right. Well, see, that's why I was uh, trying to. I keep. I, I, I keep. We're not going back. anywhere. We're not. We're, we're no, but real? see, that's the no, thing. We're not. You have to drill down deep, and this takes time. And so that's why I don't know because like, that, I told you I told show, you on our first topic we reached we reached an impasse we came back to the it's topic. it's not an impasse it just has to go down deeper we reach an impasse on the time limits that we have I can agree to that but there's not an actual impasse you can go deeper we there might be an impasse way down there somewhere right. but we have not gone past the surface like it's like the leaning our country right now it's kind of like the leaning tower of pizza or pizza, pizza whatever pizza. you call it right it's the foundation <laughs> the leaning pizza the leaning tower of pizza yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so what's well, in italy right so yeah, like, yeah. You, you can understand my mistake but so <laughs> i like the tower of pizza yeah okay Man. but like we were built on this foundation and right now we're over here and we keep going over here so at some point we're 
facing collapse situation. You can't tell because you don't know. You're not a. Or I don't want to say you. Most people can't tell, okay. but, but you're you starting are? to feel the shape. But you are. We all are. No, Trump being no, no, elected is a shape. You're saying Kanye that I can't. Him. You're no, saying no, that no, I can't no, tell no, because I, I no. wasn't back there. But no, no, you no, are no. you? No, I'm not saying. When, that's why I try to correct myself. When I say you. I mean, most people, but you're starting to feel. I, the I know. Quakes. I'm pretty sure everybody that's alive right now were not alive. No, they don't have then. to be alive because if you do, <laughs> if you know your history, if you go deep into stuff beyond, it doesn't the matter how much you. history you know. Yes, because you, you can, never know yes. exact. No, yeah. you not. If you're and certain, if you have enough understanding, you can see that we're leaning far from the foundation, and something has to give. Either we're gonna fall over because. The foundation's gonna be here, and we're moving the society over here, or we can move the foundations of the society over here. But something has to go one way or the other. Either it's gonna fall over, or to correct. The two ways to correct are move the all the stuff that we've changed in the society closer in alignment with the foundation, so you have like a straight house, or you can move the foundation, which is much harder because it's built in over hundreds and hundreds you, of thousands of years. Do here. you do you not think that we're moving that foundation right now? Yeah, but see that's. I mean, isn't that the point of our? No, right now we're here. But isn't that the what the foundation no, is out on, of alignment with where but society it, is today? But isn't that what our rules and regulations are doing? Is helping move that foundation to where we at? Give no, us a it, new the, the rules give and us regulations. A new perspective, a new uh, code of ethics. No, a new yeah, but philosophy. See, yeah, but you want the government to give you a new philosophy, a new code of ethics, a but new who whatever? is the government? The government is... Who the is the government? The government, government is, isn't this magical institution. I'm not saying it's a magical. It's We're the people the government. in power and the positions We're of the power. We're the government. No. Yes, we, we are. elect the government... To yeah, but serve who, us. But who? But see, that's but who one of are they? No, but you were talking about they? the foundation shifted. Who are before, they? Before the government was a servant of who are, the people. Who are those now, elected officials? We are a servant of the government. Who are those Is that elected? The way you want to move the foundation? Sure. You well, want to well, be a servant of? Then what's the point of leaving a monarchy? <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Like, you, you can say that so easily, but it's like, we just, it was so hard to get rid of the concept of one person should rule everything because obviously there's too much chaos. You need order. It was so freaking hard when America did it. And it's been a slow crawl right back to the same crap in a new facade. But the, it's a rubber band effect that I told you about earlier. But that's yeah, the, but life, that doesn't mean it's but that's the life of progression. Yeah, but oh, We're progressing. No, that's not a progression. That's a change. You can assume it's a progression. <laughs> See, it's progress that semantics if I've ever seen no, one. Oh, no, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, and, but you know, God here's damn a real... Pro- no. God damn it. Okay, God damn it. Yeah. okay and here's where semantics yeah, yeah, change. Yeah, progression okay. includes betterment. <laughs> change just means different. It could also be better or worse. Okay. See? Well, Not all change is progression. We need, we need to move on. Yes. Okay. Last topic of the day. And let's, let's make this a five-minute topic because there's not a whole lot to Actually, say. Actually, it will be five-minute topic. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Childish Gambino. This is America. Thoughts go. Uh, Childish Gambino, what you call it? Did you it was an it? interesting video. I I've saw. Seen, I've, I've seen, seen parts it. of it. I've saw a little bit of the lyric breakdown. I'll just summarize my thing super quickly with like a few two sources. Ben Shapiro had a great take on it, but a cynical me feels like he's probably a little too optimistic. He thinks it might be a little more complex than I want to give it credit for. Uh, check it out on YouTube. Just look up his review of that. Michael Knowles did another one that I feel is probably more accurate if you just assume everybody in Hollywood is leftist. But it's basically just everything you think it is on the surface. From his perspective, it might be a little bit deeper on Ben Shapiro's. So, yeah. He's, he's telling quite the story about how America is just a foundation of violence. You know, Maybe. like he just goes in there. That's, and that's and just, the surface. He There's just goes in there and just deeper. shoots somebody and then the gun gets treated very well. And then, but like, fuck that. Just let that body uh, just get dragged around. As long as he's dancing and got these kids and stuff, it doesn't matter what's happening in the background. People are falling from the... In the sky, everything is just like that's the surf. Well, that's my my question people. is, who is his audience? Yeah, uh, childish Gambino. Who is his audience who, who, in general, or no? That specific, that, that specific video, who was it made, made for? for? That's what because if you look at Black that America? video, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Was it? Yeah, it's American every, in general. Well, no, well, that's the thing though, because because everybody in the video was black. Yeah, I don't think I saw a, a single white person in that video. I don't know. No, no, he was black too. too. And so also the like, question yeah, is, yeah. is it to the black America where they're struggling with violence? Because if that message was specifically for, for that audience, I can see where he's coming from. I, I get see, what that was the I, I, I get the message that he's saying is that they need to look at themselves and like they're literally kill, killing each other for no reason. Hmm. Like there's other ways they can. See, that's uh, the deeper take that I'm too cynical to believe. Maybe, but anything. if he's talking about the whole American in general, then I I don't agree with it. 
What do you huh. Well, because like I think the general surface level agreed upon analysis in the mainstream is he's talking about gun violence. He's talking about you know all but these kind of situations. The, yes, we do have gun violence. Yes, we do. Have, was that, and we're not paying but, attention to it because as soon as something happens, it's all about selfies and this new challenge. And because that it's all challenge. about distraction. Yeah. yeah. But That's, and then and then when so you're and at the end the end of the music video when you fall out of line from that you get run the fuck down and you're just like, yeah. yeah. When that would be the Michael Knowles surface level from the right interpretation, but I also think, from the left, they kind of all yeah. also Donald. Glover doesn't want to give it. I think it interview. has to. And he said he didn't want to talk anything. about it. Yeah. And see, I like that because then you can cool. pan, you can project your. Charles own Gambino, Donald Glover. He uh he gave an interview and he doesn't want to like give his take. He doesn't want explanation. He doesn't want any explanation. I think y'all. you're gonna have to. He doesn't no, want but to. You no, know, that's the beauty of art. No, it can ex- it can I mean, pull no. out things uh, from okay, each okay, individual. Okay. Yes. It's it's the beauty because then everybody gets to talk about it. Blah blah blah. But a video like that, I think you kind of have to give you know. Give a little bit more explanation. Context. Well, no, because what good you, you, art, there's you lots need, of interpretations you, you can get. Well, that's the thing. Now. We can t- discuss them that, all evenly. That it's not video like- doesn't apply to everyday America. You can't you can't sit there and look at that video like, oh man, this shit happens all the fucking time. It I just doesn't. shot an AR-15 this morning. Did you? Yeah. It's fucking powerful as hell. Yeah. But did you just shoot it at a... A target. A, well, a, no, a target. no, hold on. Did you shoot it at a, you know... At a person? Uh, no. at, a, at a choir? No. Uh, no. Exactly. <laughs> no, but see, oh, exactly. Yeah. No, right? but the, when yeah. you listen to the news, they make it sound like it's happening all the time. So it is talking to America in a general sense in that way. It could be. But is he? It, see, that's the I thing. See, that's the thing. No, right? but see, ha- he has to put it in certain context. No, but see, if he puts it, the, yeah, the it downside to. of putting it in a context is that he kind of elevates one interpretation over the others. He pigeonholes mm-hmm. it. Well, I mean, all the, because that's right a, now it can be anything, and we all have to discuss it. And then because he won't, yeah, but then he he's gonna shut out, shut off like so many people. Not necessarily because yes. he, because he's not gonna say anything. Because it, okay, because well, Tony, the as videos in America in general. Yeah. No, but see, that's no. the thing. No one knows because everyone is giving different interpretations. There's like the mainstream leftist one. Like, it's an indictment of gun violence. It's an indictment of the fact that we're not doing gun control right now like we need to be. No. <laughs> it, it could be <laughs> indictment of all these it, shootings and we're just getting distracted constantly by all this other stuff, but we need to pay attention. That's kind of the left one. The right one that's a little more deeper is kind of what you're saying that it's not even necessarily about gun control per se. It could be about black on black violence, the high murder rate over there. And as long as he doesn't actually say what he's trying to say, they're well, equal. Okay, let me, is is he copping out then? It's not necessarily. He might be copping out. It kind of is. But he might not even know because a because, lot of times. Well, because, like, because if he leaves it open, then he's free, right? Yeah. He well, doesn't have to really answer what he means by that. Well, see, but well, like sometimes said, it might. And it a the, piece of art can go beyond the artist. As in, well, like with no. the Kanye, yes, because like with the Kanye thing, he might have a vision of what he's trying to see, but in trying Kanye to say was high. what he, Maybe, but he, in, he might have, and you have to think about how soon this happened after Kanye. He might be like, I'm not going to explain this because I saw what happened to Kanye. You know, I, I have my art. I have this vision of what's as an, happening. As, if I'm an artist, to explain it, it's a problem. If I'm an artist, I have intention. Maybe. What do you mean? I, yes. No, no because yes. I, okay, no, no, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. but let me just yes. finish out. If, if I'm an artist and I have an intention and my art is out there to the world and there's a gross mis- a misinterpretation of that. I would, as an artist, would want to correct that. Okay, we'll see. I would say the way. Okay, we're not talking about your art. No, we're I'm talking not talking about, about my art. Okay. Artists, they have. It's not always clear that they have intention. Sometimes artists get possessed by an idea. They get something oh, comes okay. to them. That's and their they're intention. They're trying to express it. The intention is to express it, but it's not always clear that they understand it. Does that make sense? What the no, fuck? No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes. Oh, holy no. Okay. shit. No. No. Okay, see. So, the, uh, novelists okay, and I'm, writers just don't understand what they're putting out? Are you saying like, are you dep- saying that filmmakers, like directors, like Steven Spielberg, depends. doesn't Art, fully grasp? A, I, don't, I don't know, Lewis, because there have been some movies where we sit there and like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> like mother. Like mother. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Here's the thing. like when you, if you think about it, your thoughts just come into your brain, right? You don't actually control, like, hey, I want to think about this, and then you think this. You could use just you inception to, just yeah. happens. Yeah. It's not even inception. Yeah. It's like it just pops into your consciousness. Thoughts pop into your consciousness. Okay, got it. Artists t- 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 typically tend to be a little more yeah, but liberal that... in the psychological sense, so they're open to a lot more things. And then the they just put person. it out there. Okay. Just, sometimes. Okay, I get that. Because some people have no, a story that they're trying to tell for All a right. reason, but that's I, like propaganda. Okay, I get that. But yeah. that video is very specific. Is it? it <laughs> I believe so. Because there's a lot of interpretations, right? So how no, can we specific? There's only really is two things. He either talking about America as a whole 
Or he's talking black about and black, black and black, black violence. violence. Or he could be talking about many things later. Really? Yes. Well, what else? I don't know. But watch that video. Not, what else do you think that video could have? It could be talking about black and black violence. It could be talking about gun control. It could be talking about gun violence in a general Okay. Way. It could be talking about smartphones and smartphone addiction. It could be talking about a society where we jump from one thing to the next thing and we're just flitting and there's no permanence. It could be. T- I mean, people are still analyzing that video. Those are just me just coming off the top of my head. Okay. And I'm pretty I'm not sure the that entire video had... Yeah, it had like a scene of cell phones, but I'm pretty sure his message wasn't about, you know, cell phone addiction. It, it was, could have been. It really? Was, yeah, because things really? are just jumping. Yeah, somebody gets shot and the next So second, by watching that challenge. video, it's like, God damn, I need to put my phone down. No, <laughs> no, because that's the thing. You don't Man, know. You're not going to respond to every idea. Childish Gabito just made me realize that I'm on my phone way too long. No, because sometimes <laughs> these ideas, you have to experience them and then they kind of sink down. So it's no. like when you, ex- sometimes when I, I experience I, a really good piece I, of art or a really uh, good self- conversation, I think is art, it comes to me, I have to, it takes time for me to get the full effect. Like sometimes when I watch a video, people want me to tell you what they, what I think about it right then. And sometimes they only want me to answer what I think about it like, like a week later. And it still hasn't fully settled in. A good piece of art will take its time with you. It'll have its way with you, but over the long run. Does that make sense? Like, uh, it's not a good piece of art if, oh, I got its message. It was completely clear. I got it. Super, super easy So you don't think he was trying to send a message? I think it was trying to send a message, but I don't know if it was Donald Glover's message. Whoa. No? Even though he wrote the... I don't know. Because he, that's wrote, like, he wrote if, the music. He wrote the lyrics. The it video. came out of his hand. It came out of his mouth. And see, that's but, like, if you understand what? psychology, it's not always clear. Well, I don't want to say if you understand. From a perspective of psychology... Did you study psychology? I'm being exposed to it. That's a lot different than study from <laughs> yes. So that's why I said uh, a perspective. That's why I, I had to go uh, back and retract myself. I was. Ex- I think everybody's exposed to psychology. Okay. Well, my exposure to psychology tells me that there's a lot of things happening on the lower level that current culture kind of ignores or pretends doesn't even exist. But old culture used to know there was like the you that you think you are is like the top of the mountain and there's all this stuff underneath or the top of an iceberg and there's all this stuff underneath the water that's like bubbling and doing but you can't see it because it's below the surface and artists they're typically the type of people that are more deeply interacting beneath the water the stuff that's harder for us to see they're pulling stuff out from underneath the water and exposing us to you, new you ideas can, you, you can't apply that to every artist every you artist can't. no every artist has every artist has their own message their own agenda their own it de- they, they own yeah their, not, their own message they all have their own different well, message and an interpretation of those messages if they even okay? understand so that's why it's important for a video like that it needs to, to be give, specific, given context well, see, no, see, it needs to be given context because I've been it exposed, has to be I've been exposed to this distinction if you start with the message first and then make the art to communicate the okay, message but that's the thing propaganda is, but if is you it? if you start with the by him ex- what did I say by him me- expressing his you start intent. with the message first and then make the art that's okay, propaganda yeah. okay but if you start with the art first and let the message unfold then that's true art but they get conflated and I, I'm still working with that idea I don't know if it's true but there's something about it that rings true like when the artist I think like, you need to work on it a little bit harder. Maybe. Yeah. But like I, the see, art, I think he needs to work on it. Yeah, a like so a lot of times, <laughs> like the great artists, I feel like they express something first and then the meaning becomes apparent to them sometimes later, but to lots of other people later as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that was episode 43, 44, and 45 of the Musing with Nanchaka show. Because yeah. it's all one same. It's all one topic, really. The super. Topic. Really, the super. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you like that, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, subscribe for more content. You can follow me on Twitter at Chakalaka88, as well as PSN, Steam, XBL, Twitch, all Chakalaka88, all across the board. Easy to remember. Uh, let me just say, Tony, good God, I think I need to give you like a two week or two episode, three episode hiatus Maybe. before bringing you back. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just feel like I'm not the best guest for this format. Like, I need. Like, two like, and a half hours is not enough for you? No, but you, you like to do. It's, it's not really two and a half hours. You like to do like 15 minute episodes that are super stacked. That's why you even cut them that way. So like <laughs> I, I'm, I've been bred on the long form conversation where the conversation goes where it goes. And we but might that's have because start you're off. overthinking everything. <laughs> it might be that I'm overthinking it. But no, it's not by you are. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I would there's just, no question about you know, that You know, I'm not going to lie. You, you In my <laughs> life, I've had that criticism, but I really think <laughs> given but some like, of the I story, thought Carlo was long winded. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying overthinking. Well, 
think sometimes it can be. You can just like something simple, and you just can't. I'm get not saying overthink. It. It, it's good to overthink things, but you're literally taking it to another level. Well, see, that's I think that's what we need to do. We need to go down to a deeper level than the story. Remember, you can go to iTunes and Google Play to listen to the whole MP3 if you'd like. And uh, let's see, I don't have anything else to promote really, other than just say thank you very much for doing the show for your time. Gentlemen, until next time. Until next time, yeah. <laughs> I'm Louis Manchaka. Uh, I can't even say my name. Fuck it. I'm Louis Manchaka signing out.